What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, welcome back everybody. And today I want to play a game called Breachway. This game is currently not out yet. Uh, it should be released March 22nd, uh, 2024. Now I'm not quite sure if it's going into early access or a full release. It is developed by Edgeflow Studio and it's currently published by Hooded Horse, the same publisher as Against the Storm. This game is a deck building spaceship game. It's got a space theme aspect to it. I really do enjoy the sci-fi space theme genre. It uh, has some, uh, I guess, uh, FTL-like vibe to it, where uh, you go from, uh, I guess, a space node uh, star nodes to the next node uh, exploring the galaxy and then when you do have a combat uh, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one with the ship on the other side of the screen it's got a little split view similar to uh, FTL now FTL is a real-time strategy with pause but this game is a turn-based uh, combat game using a, a card-like mechanic um, so I've got access to a special pressed version of Breachway, which is different from the demo that they're putting out for Steamfest next. The version I have, and thank you Hooded Horse again for letting me have access to this game. The embargo is lifted, so I can actually show you this game now. Uh, this game um, has a special, or this build that I have has an uh, extra ship that you guys will not have access to in the demo. It's uh, the Lancer. The other ship uh, is temporarily locked. It's called the Marauder. And you have to reach the first boss to get access to the Marauder. All right, so the previous versions of the uh, Breachway demo, I guess, uh, is, is different because uh, of the things that they've recently added and tweaked. Uh, so... We're going to go ahead and jump back in and enable the prologue, which will give you a walkthrough of the tutorial. Um, so I want to go through the tutorial again to show you, even though I've already played it. Uh, so that way I don't have to explain to you all the mechanics because the tutorial actually does a very good job walking you through the basics. So let's do that first. Um, let me go ahead and turn on. They've got pretty good music, too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a new run with the enable prologue. I mean, you can take off the uh, the prologue and jump right into the game, and then it'll let you choose any of the ships you want, or or that you have access to. Right? Initially, you'll have access only to Arbalus until you beat the the boss. All right, so a sudden jolt awakens you as you hear the distinct beeping of doors opening as reality creeps back in you slowly recognize your surroundings the uh, cramped confines of your quarters on the atlas okay so the ship that we have in the um the prologue tutorial is called the atlas a sudden okay yeah i've already read that uh, linus starling hey wake up the captain wants to see us on the command deck he seems pretty agitated, and you look groggy as hell, so just let me do the talking. Head over to the command deck. Okay, cool. Uh, there's an unusual flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain, studying the data feed on one of the consoles, beckons the two of you over. Okay. Captain Quinn is this guy's name. Uh, good, you're here. Our sensors picked up a large explosion in the Solari space at a research station. Something went wrong there. Okay, let's continue. Lena Starling, the guy that woke us up. Uh, Lena? Could be a girl, actually, right? It's not a guy. It looks like a girl. Lena, right? Lena Starling. So this might be our big break, then. A chance to turn the scavenging mission around and not go home empty-handed. Okay, Captain Quinn says, exactly. We're closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can't risk approaching the app with the Atlas, however, as it would be picked up by the fleet scanners. 
Okay. What do you propose? However, okay, so we're getting the Magpie ship. Right, I remember now. However, a small ship like the Magpie launched at our current speed could get there undetected. Running on minimal reactor capacity and using only maneuvering thrusters for flight path adjustments. Okay. Uh, Lena Sterling says, with all due respect, sir, the fireworks will likely attract our scavengers, uh, other scavengers, by the time we get there. Which is why the lieutenant here is tasked with protecting the magpie in case things go south. I'll assemble a team while you make the necessary preparations. Report to the docking bay in 30 minutes. Prepare to head out. All right, let's do that. All right, so we've got ship uh, selection. This is the ship status screen. You can view the statistics such as your hull number, of number, your hull, Nump comma number and types of hard points, starting equipment and crew. Uh, each piece of equipment contains a few starting cards and has capacity to add more cards as you play. Equipment requires an assigned crew member to function. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and hit next. And then we can we only have one choice here, which is the magpie. So we'll hit accept. If you want a better uh, if you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit. Uh, the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you're done inspecting your ship, click on the accept button in the uh, ship selection window uh, to proceed. Sure. All right. So we can, so I'm hitting the left, holding the left click. We can actually rotate and look, check out the magpie here. It's not much of a ship. Looks pretty tiny. looks like a rocket. Well, that's okay. Now this game reminds me or gives me a lot of the Firefly vibe, the, the Firefly keep the Firefly TV show, uh, the ship Serenity, and uh, Nathan Fillion, I think that's the guy's name. He um, stars on that TV show, and Summer Glau as well. All right, so let's go ahead and accept the magpie. All right, Tristan Singh? Singh. Uh, all right, uh, if we just follow the nav points I laid out, we should be in the wreckage. We should be at the wreckage in about two days. And then uh, we will, and then we, and then we rendezvous back with the Atlas. Okay. So, okay. Tristan Sai, we just uh, stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection. Easy. I really don't see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. Okay. Uh, Lena Starling, watch your tone. While we're on this mission, this is your new captain. That's me. Um, Ivan Bronco, come on now. We got a mission to do. You can fight all you want once we're back on the hauler. I guess Ivan Bronco is, is, that, is that, or is it us? That might be a different character. Soon, things settle down and everyone is at their assigned post. Time to start familiarizing yourself with the ship's command console. Continue. I think this is my hull points on the left, and I, that's my money, right? Uh, this is the... This is where we're at, right? And we click on this to advance forward. I think we can look at our ship again, right? So, yeah, I forgot to look over the crew. So, Ivan Bronco is a crew member. We are the cap. We are the captain, right? Or I'm the captain here. Uh, we have an AI on the gunner. And he is also on, a, on one of the gunners, right? I think this is for the... Um, later for the missiles. Uh, laser cutter. So, he's... On the lasers, this guy is tactical officer, Tristan. He is on the shield. Lena, she is in the engineering uh, module. So each one of these things are modules, and I think the game will explain to this to you, so I won't go through that. So we'll, we'll continue first. All right, so remember how I said this is like FTL? See, so it goes from node to node to node, whatever. Um... And there's no turning back. Like, you can only move forward. 
with the exception later, and they'll, they'll explain it to you, these yellow lines lets you go back and forth along them. Your console flashes a warning indicating combat near your flight path. Not long after, the infer, infer, uh, inferred sensors flare as a ship explodes. The remaining ship uh, changes course, heading in your direction. Alright, so it looks like there's combat between two ships. Uh, somebody, one of the ships exploded and the other ship is coming at us, right? Uh, there's no way their sensors spotted us. We've been running cold for almost a day now. All right. Uh, just our luck then. Their flight path will take them right within our r radar detection range. Repair combat protocols. Okay. Well. Our luck, their luck, maybe. Okay. What's going on here? All right, their ship looks pretty small. This is uh, your hand of cards displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires resources to play, show, shown as a number in the lower part of the card. So these are the resource numbers. Uh, and I believe the, this is energy, but they'll tell you that. Okay, this is your resource panel. So the game currently is is, I guess, presenting or introducing you each of the resources slowly. There's actually a full set of resources. Um, but right now, it's uh, they're just showing you the energy aspect. Uh, the colored number next to the icon indicates your current energy. The white number shows your energy income at the uh, start of the next turn. Resources carry over between turns. All right, so any surplus will, will ba basically gets rolled over. And then four is basically our generation. So next turn, we're going to get 10 if we don't spend any of the six. All right, so er enemy actions are based on their equipment, just like ours. Each piece of equipment has a card slot, indicating the next action. Uh, cards gain one pip each turn, which is that little dash line. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. So the way they do their game, their combat, is a little different from the way we do ours. All right, say, so, okay, done. Uh, your card, uh, you play cards by dragging and dropping them over the crosshair region. Hack the enemy by playing two slice cards to advance. Right, okay. Alright. So, we'll do the, the two. And we drag it over here. So, see how the game is divided? Sort of like a comic book uh, divider. But it's very similar to also into FDL where you have one side of the ship, one side of the screen has the enemy ship and the other side of the screen is your ship. I've seen a lot of other space combat games like this too where they divide it up. Uh, split the screen. Alright, so this is the other one, right? So we have three energy still. We're using three to deal four damage. And it goes into their hull. So they have... 10 hall points left. Uh, press the end turn button to advance your enemy's turn. Sure. To advance to your enemy's turn. Alright, so they just gained a pip for this. So that means they're going to do their laser pulse next. Um, they did not. It's, it's It actually goes back to our turn. They just gain their pip, so I don't think they take it on their turn, I'm pretty sure. Shields are your primary defense, with each shield points blocking one damage. Shields half at the start of each turn, so deploy shield cards just before an enemy attack for the maximum effectiveness. Right, so if we use a shield, we get the full value, but when our turn comes back around, whatever shield that we have left after they attack gets reduced in half. 
Okay, the enemy ship is about to attack. Play a block card to prevent full hull damage from the enemy's upcoming attack. Hit next. Okay. So they did not have their full pip um, on their turn. So they didn't attack us. Right? And then at the end of their turn, they gained that little pip notch. So that means the laser pulse is going to hit us when they attack next or on their turn. So now it's our turn. And we have four energies. And the only thing we can do here is do the shields. The target lock is not something that we can do right now for some reason. Because they, I guess the game has locked us out from spending this. So the game wants us to, or the tutorial wants us to use the four shields. We'll do that because next turn he's going to shoot for four points of damage. Let's do that. All right. In breach way, your card play or your played cards don't reshuffle into the draw pile once it is empty. Instead, they enter a cooldown pile. So there's no discard pile. It's basically a cooldown pile. Uh, so instead, they enter a cooldown pile for a set number of turns, shown next to the card's um, turn icon. After cooling down, cards return to your draw pile. Managing your cards so you always have some off cooldown and ready to be drawn. Manage your cards so you always have some off cooldown and ready to be drawn. Uh, press tab or... Click the card status UI to view your draw pile, hand, and cooldown cards. Done. All right, so we can go ahead and click on this, right? So right now, this is on cooldown. So this means these cards are actually hidden in the cooldown uh, pile. So in the cooldown, it shows three, which is this card, this card, and this card. So you can see that it shows the uh, cooldown icon two, two, and three. Uh, in the um, the highlighted card with the white indicates what's currently in your hand. So we have the, the target lock in our hand and the slice in our hand, which means this card and this card is the remaining two that's currently in the draw pile. So next turn, when, uh, when we draw, we're gonna have a chance of this one and this one, right? So we can't use this and we can't use this for some reason. They don't want us to use this. Uh, we can't use this because it requires three points of energy and using this would be a waste because to maintain this, you actually have to uh, do, a, do an attack, right? So we have no other choice but hit the end turn. Otherwise, this is gonna drain our power or energy for no reason. So we'll hit the end turn. And we're going to block the four points of damage that's coming in because we now have a four point shield. Right, so our shield's gone. Persistent effects. All right, so persistent effects on your ship appear above your card hand. Okay. Uh, some effects last for a set number of turns while others have an upkeep condition. You have to meet each turn to maintain the effect, all right. Which I, I briefly mentioned to you, the, the target lock card. So this target lock card, if I play it, I will get a plus one damage whenever I do damage attacks. But to maintain this target lock, I, I always have to play an attack card. And right now I have six points. I'm gonna go ahead and use the target lock. And so the, the persistent effect, which is this row right here, uh, or persistent effect appears above the uh, the cards. This is the target locked effect, right? Now we have a deal one damage. So we need to slice him this turn to maintain that. Otherwise, at the end of the turn, this will go, go away. So this costs three. So we're going to go ahead and slice him. And that should bring him down by uh, 10 down to five, right? Right, perfect and now this is maintained we're gonna go ahead and say okay 
So this guy, the only thing he can do next turn is Shield Pulse because he's got the full three pips. He can't laser attack us because he's his pip, the little two dot there is not complete. So he's going to raise his shield. And then next turn he has the laser available to him. And so for us now to maintain this target lock for the next turn, we need to attack. And this, um, I'm not sure if the five automatically is included in this plus one. I think, yeah, so I think it's four damage normally. And then you get the plus one. And he's got a pulse laser coming at us. Well, we should be able to take him out with a five pointer. So there's no reason to block. Oh, 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 sorry, that's not true. We actually, he actually had shields. Okay, so we want to put up our shields to prevent the four. All right, so yeah, 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 I forgot. He actually had the pulse, the shield pulse that reduce the damage. All right, let's go ahead and say end turn. All right, so now he should be dead in the water. But the slice, okay, the slice does five points, so he should be dead in the water. There you go. And now we get our reward for 25. Let's go ahead and leave. Ivan says the area is starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more combat on our approach to the station. It looks like we're not the only one stupid enough to raid a Solari facility. Okay, click to continue. Uh, too late to hide our presence now. Asking for permission to restore the reactor's ordinance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. It will also improve our laser's photon output. Permission granted. Override the cutter's safety protocols. We need more firepower. Aye, Captain. That should, en uh, should enable it to emit concentrated laser pulses. Won't be a military-grade laser, but it'll be close. Proceed. Ordnance is a new resource type that they're adding to our our game. Uh, they're slowly introducing you to the different types. You now have access to the ordnance resource. Ordnance is the main resource for attacks. Open your ship's data screen now to inspect your resource. You have one unallocated reactor power. Left click on the ordnance resource to add your extra power to it. Okay. All right. So this is the reactor power right here. Go ahead and click on it. Now, one of the things I like about this game is it lets you sort of redirect power. It makes me feel like I'm Scotty on the Starship, um, Star Trek, right? The Enterprise. And so you can redirect your power from the energy to the ordnance, your reactor power. Uh, you can redistribute reactor power between your resources at any time. Click on energy twice to remove power from it. Boom. Oh, wait, I'll have to click on done first. And then left click twice to add two power to the ordinance. Your power distribution should be as indicated below. Okay. Um, to close the ship status, click on the button again. Okay, got it. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I should be able to right click. Or right -click there we go. Right click removes it, and then left-click assigns it. So now we are shifting some of our reactor power over to the ordnance. And now we have the cutter online, right? So the cutter uses the, um, the three ordnance. Sure. And then we go in back. I don't think it... Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, let's see. They changed it a little bit during the tutorial process here. 
So we have ordnance, and the cars are now ordnance based instead of just energy only. So we're moving forward, right? Yep, we're moving forward. We've got a ship closing in on, on an attacked vector. It looks like pirates. Prepare for combat protocols. This ship looks pretty cool. A, a resource redistribution. You can redistribute reactor power anytime in combat. Right click on a resource type to remove one power. Left click to add. This lets you shift your resource income to suit your needs. Adding one power to a resource uh, to a resource generates heat. Heat changes take place after playing the next card. Heat changes take place after playing the next card. Okay, so we can juggle basically our our resources um, during combat, but every time we do assign something, we generate heat. And it should say something about how heat, uh, whenever you go over the heat limit, you take damage. Oh, here we go. It says, ships have a heat resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is the amount uh, of heat a ship can safely sustain before overheating. Dissip dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn. Okay, so we get a minus one at the end of each turn. And then if we go over the three, every point of overheat deals one hull damage at the start of your, your turn. And we're allowed up to three. All right. So we're kind of allowed up to one, sort of, right? Three, and then the one, and then at the end of uh, our, at the end of each turn it goes down right uh, is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn so, right so at the end of the turn so let's say we go up to three it, that means it goes down to two if we go over three during our turn we get we take damage and it will it will go down to three again that's fine Every point of overheat. So if we go over three by two, that means the next turn after we're going to take damage from overheat. All right, that's fine. So it is our turn. And they also have overheat. I'm going to go ahead and target lock, right? Yeah, we're going to target lock. And we should now be able to do seven points of damage. And then we will ignite them for three. So they're going to get over here, right? Ignite. Add one heat for every X hull damage. Add one heat for every X hull damage. Um, okay, take damage from each point above max uh, at the start of the next turn. All right, yeah, that's just telling them. Okay, so go, we'll go ahead and do seven points of damage and ignite them for three. Okay. I guess we didn't ignite them for the... Maybe they got the heat uh, dissipation. All right, that's fine. Uh, in turn, right, in turn. They deal four to us, right? We had 50, we, we took four. So they got a pip on their turn, basically. Uh, pre precision attacks. With uh, cards with the target icon, like the laser pulse, are precision attacks that you can target specific enemy equipment. Drag and drop these cards over enemy equipment or card in the UI or over a piece of equipment in the ship model to attack it. Next. Each enemy piece of equipment has a durability value indicating by the shield icon. When the durability hits zero, the equipment breaks, preventing any actions. 
enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. So this is kind of like locking on to a specific, um, I guess, equipment. Like targeting, say, you know, whatever. Um, the lasers or the shields or whatnot. Uh, the durability damage from precision cars is indicated by the the X icon, right? So uh, we'll we'll say done. I'll I'll point it out to you. Uh, discarding cards, uh, you can right click to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for a new for a new draw next turn. Discarded cards go go on cooldown just as if it's being played. Consider discarding cards that are not useful for the next few turns. Done. Okay. All right. So he's not going to blast us next turn. So there's no reason to use the block. And then shield pulses add four shields and depleted basically means that it gets removed from the battle, right? So it does not go into a discard or a cooldown pile. Remove from battle once played. So this is his only shields, and it's a one-time use for him. Uh, blocks damage, shield points are half. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's already said that. Okay, so let's go ahead. We don't want to use block because he's not going to attack us. And by the time our turn comes around, those four points are going to get wasted, right? It gets half to two. So let's go ahead and discard this. And then we want to attack him, right? To maintain this and so now here it says it does five damage to durability and then five damage to the hull and he currently has no shields so we're gonna go ahead and drag this and it does five points of damage right um all right i'm gonna go attack Focus on his heavy blast so he will not have weapons by the time it rolls around. Alright, so we took five off of that, and then his durability is down to three, right? We're gonna go ahead and end turn. He can't do anything else other than shields on his turn. Right. Oh, he didn't use his shields. Oh, he just got his pip at the end of his turn, I guess. Interesting. He didn't use his shields. Uh, you right-click to discard. Uh, uh, you can you can right-click to discard unwanted cards, bring up a slot for a next turn draw. Discard guards. Yeah, yeah, they've already told me this. Consider discarding cards that are not useful for the next few turns. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Um then I should have probably attacked his pulse, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and laser cut his heavy blast. Right. So he has no shields. There's no reason to block. He's probably going to put up his shields next, right? Yep, he used up his shields, and then he gained a pip at the end of his turn. Okay, so he gets his pip at the end of the turn, not before the turn. And then that means he's got four points of shields. And his heavy blast is down. Um, beam sweep. Let's go with the beam sweep. Yeah, let's go with the beam sweep. Because that will ignite him. Okay, he's only got like five points left on his turn. Or five hit points. And then, what else? I should have just discarded this. Yep, I, I should have just discarded that. This does five points, so he's only got five points. This, sh this should take him down anyways. Oh, he wants me to target something. That's fine. Boom. All right, so we've got rewards, combat rewards. Clicking on the flashing subsystem to add it to your cargo bay. Yes. 
I will take it. Infer bar meter. Infrared meter, right? Infrared meter. Done. And then we are gonna take the rewards. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. That's in our cargo bay now, right? Lena Sterling. Uh, Captain, we should look at the mass refiner module. We should hook up the mass refiner module to the reactor. So this is the next resource they're introducing us to. It's crucial for improving our reactor's power output and strength strengthening the Magpie's shield system. It was originally meant for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, not high-powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high-density particles in its magnetic field, diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic force. This improves defense, but requires mass. Permission granted. Uh, we also salvaged a functional subsystem from that ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. Might uh, help us get out of this in one piece, okay? Uh, I'll be claiming that as reparations for my ship when we're back on the Atlas. The Magpie will need a new coat of paint once all of this is over. Okay, so reactor upgrades. You can upgrade your reactor with credits uh, you gather on, on your journey. To upgrade your reactor, open the ship status screen and then click on this, right? So it costs 150 to upgrade the reactor to get more power, right? Each upgrade gives you one extra power. Let's do that. Now, uh, you now have access to the mass resource used for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgrade power unit to mass by left click on the resource. Yes. Gone up. Subsystems enhance uh, compatible equipment and their cards with various effects. Drag and drop the subsystem from the cargo bay on your modified cutter for application. Only one subsystem of the same type can be added to an equipment. So infrared matter is highlighted Highlighting the modified cut uh, cutter, right? So I can only add this to this one over here. I can't put it over here. So we'll go ahead and put it on this. And any attack from this weapon uh, that deals uh, hull damage adds plus one heat. So basically we're giving them extra heat whenever we attack from the modified cutter. Those are cards specific to this particular um, equipment. If you roll your mouse over it, right, this is how the deck, um, I guess the deck building aspect works. Each equipment has a set of cards associated to them. Okay. So that should give us heat generation to their side, to the enemy side, whenever we use any of these cards, right? Uh, let's see here. Right, attack from this weapon deals hull damage, um, adding heat, right? So if we do hull damage, not through the shields, we have to do hull damage. All right, that's fine. Say done. And then we can go ahead and close this out. And now we can advance to the uh, station wreckage. The remains of the station are in view. Things seem quiet, but the tension in the crew is palpable. Judging by the infrared emissions... Infrared, right? Yeah, infrared emissions. There should still be some functional equipment we can salvage in that section over there. Okay. Uh, Ivan says, combat training. Well... Wait, look at the fluctuation in those readings. I'll bet you a week's ration that there's a ship lying in wait to spring an ambush. Prep the laser and let's go around to get the jump on them instead. Uh, circle around the wreckage and attack. Advantage, first attacks. First attack deals plus three damage. Move closer to the wreckage to get a better read. Since we have a combat training guy to give us this option, we're going to take it, right? Because it gives us plus three damage. 
there's no reason to take this because we're gonna engage in combat. All right, so crew members have abilities you can activate at will during combat. To inspect crew abilities, hover over a crew a member's... Oh, it's... They misspelled that. Over a crew mem member's portrait, right? Not meme-ber's portrait. Uh, abilities do not... Uh, do not regular resources... Oh, yeah, this is also a typo. I actually screenshot that as well abilities do not regular resources i think they meant to say do not use regular resources instead they cost command points and have a cooldown use or, or a cooldown after use okay so over here in this corner we have a total of or a max cap of 12 command points and we currently have eight the crew has their own requirements. So, for example, if I use this guy, he has a four-turn uh, four cooldown. I won't be able to use this again. But if I do use it, I only have eight command points. So this is not going to really help me. Because uh, that means I won't be able to do anything else. It's a one-time... It'll eat into this. I'm pretty sure I don't generate uh, command points during, during combat. Although there may be cards or maybe things later that, that allows us to generate points. But points, I believe, generate outside of combat. Your command point capacity is determined by, by the amount of crew on board. Plus three max command points per crew member. Okay. Uh, plus three max command points. So we have four crew members. I guess the AI counts. That's how we're getting 12. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3. That's 12. So the AI does count as a crew. Alright, so we have this available to us. Now if I use this, like I said, I will not be able to do anything else. And then we have a an advantage, right? Ambush advantage. Combat advantage. The first attack... Played deals plus three damage duration. This last, this particular effect only lasts for one turn. And then in, infrared emitter, we always have that. That upgrades our hull. So let's see here. Next shield card played um, gives us plus 50 points of shields. Gain two extra resources. Let's see here. He's already got six points of shields, right? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the seven points. And we're going to eat into the laser pulse. Zap. And then... I don't want to use hers or that one, right? We have enough to do everything else. Next shield card played. Uh, this turn gives 50 points of shields. So I'm going to go ahead and use this guy's ability. And I'm going to gain now 9 points of shields. A laser does 4 points of damage, right? And that also does 4 points of damage. So we are at 9. So we should be able to absorb all of those. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea to waste this. I mean, we're we're already absorbing that, right? So let's go ahead and end turn. Boom, boom. Oh, that's a missile. Delayed attacks, incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen above your hall points. Missiles have a delay for one or more turns before they hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shoot them down with special or shoot or shooting them down with special missile defense cards. 
done. So it's going to hit us in one turn. Right. Um. Hang on. Sorry, I'm messaging the developer. Because <laughs> I posted a, uh, a a bug report on that earlier. Alright, so... And they responded. Uh, let's see here. So the next one... He's going to do a... Uh, Four damage, and this is well. This is a missile, right? And this is a uh, a laser. We still have three points of of shields, and this is going to hit us in one. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Let's do target lock, right? I should be able to target lock, and then I should should be able to do. Pulse, laser pulse, right? And that will do five points of damage, and we can focus on something. Um, who do we want to focus on? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the laser pulse. There you go. We'll shields up. Um. What cards am I getting next turn? Block and sweep, right? We have a... Let's see here. I think what I want to do is... I want to reallocate... This. To this, because we're going to get... We're going to get two coming in, right? Or no. We're generating four. Right, we... We're already at max at four. Okay, that might be a bad thing I did there. Uh -huh. No, we're going to get four next turn, right? Our income is one. Which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're going to hit end turn. Because what I'm going to do is... I'm going to need to use the laser pulse and the sweep. And the block. All right, this is going to focus on something, all right? All right, well, let's let's try this first. Ignite them for 3. Wait, no. I can only do one or the other, right? Okay. Can I take this away? I don't know if I can take this away. And give myself more energy. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and go with a laser pulse. Oh shit, I meant to hit the laser, their laser pulse. Not, I, oh god, I got the, went, went the wrong way. Alright, we're gonna block. And then... We are... We're gonna use her ability, right? Gain two of each. Can I re redirect this? No. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't use two. I can't gain two right now. I, all right. I slightly screwed that up. I was trying to get the sweep attack. Oh man, I really screwed up. We're gonna get some heat damage next turn. 
Yep, we're gonna get heat damage. I screwed it up. I my math was off. Yep, my math was off. Um laser pulse. Shields. Plus two off of her, right? Sweet beam. So the air laser pulse is off. And Firefly takes two pips and turn. Okay. And then what else? They only have seven points left, right? I can't do any more of this. Um, I think they have a pit coming in, but we should be able to take care of it. No, we're going to laser pulse this guy. Alright, we're done, right? They can't do anything. Okay. Um. All right. So they're dead, right? We just need to shoot them for three points. I don't think that generates any heat, right? That's it. Yep. All right, so we get... A new equipment. Click on the flashing equipment to add to your cargo bag. Sure. Uh, click on the add card button to select a card to add for any piece of equipment on your ship that has available card slots to fill. Sure, let's take that. Won't let me add for some reason. I can't continue. Oh, game is bug, guys. This is the first time it's actually done this. Click the add button to select a card to add for any piece of equipment on your ship that's available. Wow, this is actually bugged. Jesus Christ. I actually played this before the recording and it did not do this. And right now there is a, a bug with this card. Right now. Click on add card button to select a card for any piece of equipment to your ship that is that has available card slots to fill, right? And uh Yeah, it's bugged out. I can't even click on this. I can't even click on quit. Um, okay, I guess another bug report. Oh man, hopefully I don't have to redo this recording here, guys, because this is bad. Um, yeah, can't do anything here. I just posted a screenshot to report this to the devs. I can't click on this either. Oh my goodness. Yep, can't do any of this. I think I have to force exit. Yep. Enter. Spacebar, okay. Right click, left click. Can't select any of this, right? Yeah, this is this is bug, guys. 
All right, I'm force quitting and see if this works. All right, let's reload this and see if it does anything. Man, this kind of stinks, huh? And I have to change the resolution again. For some reason, it did not remember my resolution. Continue run. Hopefully it remembers where I left off. Okay, well... I guess, uh... That's not as bad, right? It was right before I... No, it's... Uh, I think somehow they got their six shield points back. And it spent all of my command points. So that means... I have to do this without those command points. Alright, very, very bad. Laser pulse. I got nothing else, right? I can't, yeah. Alright, ah, that kind of sucks. What was Beam Sweep? Six points of damage. I also lost my targeting, too. For some reason. Well, that really stinks. Alright. And we're gonna take some damage. End turn. This is bad, right? Four points of laser and four points of missile, but the missile is not going to hit us for another turn, so I don't have to worry about that. We'll go ahead and do the beam sweep. Hmm, I do. You know what? I think he's got one pit, or he's. This pip is full. Let's go ahead and put this up. That should prevent the four points of damage. And we'll use the block for the the other one later. Yeah, we'll use the block for that one turn. We're gonna laser the pulse. And turn. Okay. Um. All right. So let's see. What else can I do? Nothing, right? Uh, block, right? And then laser. We'll do block. And then we'll laser. Oh wait. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have blocked actually. Because we're taking out his lasers. All the the block is a waste. Definitely a waste. So we're going to lose half of that. And we got eight points left. Right? That's actually not bad. I'll just block it again. Um, laser, right? Three. And beam sweep. Yeah, laser first. And block and turn. That's fine. We should be able to win now. All right. Hopefully, we can add cards. It looks like we can add cards now. The tutorial part that tells us not to worked. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a- oh my god, we end up getting a second basic missile rack. Oh my god. Um. Oh yeah, I got a second- 
basic missile pack or rack. So that is another bug there. That's kind of weird, right? We get to add a card. All right, so we get to choose one card to add to our equipment. And I like to take the engineering one, right? Because this gives us a, a point for every time we use lasers or ion attacks. Uh, blinding pulse. Next turn, enemy attacks deals minus two versus ray shields. Ray shields is an automat is a uh, an emergency thingy. If you don't have shields, add 12 shield points in one duration. The one duration basically extends the um, the current shield so they don't actually get half when your turn comes around. Now this one reduces their attack by two, which is very nice actually, versus this. Gain one shield point every time you play a laser. You know what, I actually might go with this one. This might be better. All right, that reduces damage. I'm okay with this. And somehow I have... Okay, so morale determines the rate at which your crew command points uh, recharge on entering a node. Some choices in events can affect crew morale temporarily or permanently. Okay, so we're getting a, a plus two generation only. Um, area clear, no further hostiles in engagement range, deploying a recon drone for a visual sweep of the wreckage. Okay, sure. Uh, look behind that plating, that black box is the station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable research data we can sell. Who knows what they were cooking up here? Uh. Okay, developers are messaging me right now. Are you out of your mind? If the Solari catch wind of us stealing, we're as good as dead. Click to continue. Uh, we need a new air recycling and ventilation system back at the station, don't we? Uh, this is why we went on the scavenging run in the first place. This will bring in enough credits for all that, that and more. Hang on, I'm responding to the devs. Okay, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and click, click continue. Enough squabbling. We've got a limited window before more hostiles arrive. Our orders were to retrieve all valuable salvage. So let's get to work. Begin salvage operations. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. They said they'll update the press build if they find out what's causing it. The crew quickly works to retrieve the black box and fill Magpie's cargo bay with any valuable salvage they can find. After the work is done, you set course for the rendezvous point with the Atlas. Okay. Uh, equipment. Open your ship status UI screen to, uh, to inspect your salvage equipment and install your sh uh, it on your ship. Okay. So we somehow got a second uh, basic missile rack. Which is weird, right? Because I know I played this off recording and I only got one missile rack. Um, okay, so drag the equipment for the cargo bay. Okay, this will add one extra card slot. 
and the cards from that equipment to your deck while in combat. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, let's see. Do I get extras? I don't think I get extras, right? I can only do one or the other. So what's weird is, if you noticed, the bug here is it said it was 60 credits, and the other one said 60 credits. And uh, before the screen, it actually said 60 and 120. So for some reason, I can actually can sell this for 120 whenever I find somebody to buy it. Is there a way to sell it here? I don't think it just goes away, right? Yeah, so I can switch between the two. One of them was 60 and one of them was 120. And here it has only two more card slots. This has only one card slot. There's three card slots, right? And this is only one extra slot left. This one has two, right? This also has two. So they're both exactly the same. I somehow got a duplicate rack. Don't know what that's about. Can I remove this? I don't think I can remove the the infrared emitter, right? No. And then reactor power is going to cost me 175. I don't have that money. Let's go ahead and advance. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go to the rendezvous point. Incoming tight beam transmission from Atlas. Uh, Magpie, this is Atlas. We've got a situation. The Solari have flagged us for one interrogation. They've most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with their, with their patrol ships. The uh, Solari have flagged us for interrogation. They've most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with their patrol ships. Okay. So maybe we can go around that? Uh, any attempt to pick uh, you up would incriminate us both. We'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own. Keep your burn minimal and maintain a low profile until you're clear. Roger that, Captain. Stay safe. All right. Oh, hey, no, they've got sensors pointed at the Atlas, not at us. That's fine. So we have to go around them. I've heard about Solari um, interrogation methods. I wouldn't want to be at, on the Atlas right now. Yeah, all right. Uh, there's an alternative route we can take that will keep us away from any major flight uh, corridors and known Solari fleet positions, okay? Set an alternative route to the station. Should work. We have enough Delta V and remaining fuel to get us to the station. Okay. Um, then an alternative route. That'll take us straight through the dead weight uh, controlled territory, though. This is the dead weight. That's another faction. A, a uh, solitary scavenger ship is sure to attract some attention from those pirate scum. We best be on our toes. Proceed. Sure. And um, I believe that's fuel, right? Yeah, so I was going to say fuel, right? Because they mentioned fuel. There are two uh, two path types in Breachway. Main path, shown as a blue line, allows only forward movement. Secondary path, marked by thin yellow lines, permit both forward and backward movement. So I mentioned that earlier, uh, beginning the uh, the game, or the stream. Uh, moving to a node on a secondary path consumes one fuel. Okay, and we have six fuel. Okay, I guess the main path does not consume fuel, but going off the path uh, consumes fuel it is what they're explaining to me here. I, I'm guessing that's the case, right? Let's go here. And if I go over there, for some reason it says disliked, right? We're on neutral zone. So I think that waypoint is a disliked zone. Captain, we've uh, intercepted a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by deadweight uh, raider. They won't last long without our intervention. If we reroute power to the thrusters for max burn, we could intercept in time, pulling the raider's focus. Click to continue. Uh, that's too risky. It would leave us exposed during the approach. The deadweight could attack us freely, and we'd, we'd be defenseless until combat systems are online. 
It's a calculated risk. Diverting their firepower from the transport to us is the only way to save that ship. Our hull should hold against a barrage. All right, so now we're presented with some choices. Distract the pirate and save the civilian transport. We get more morale point. Uh, but if we wait until the weapons are fully charged before engaging, we have a combat advantage. If we stay out of this, our orders are to return to base. We lose one morale point. Um, we will be at a disadvantage, right? But this one gives us combat advantage. This gives us more morale points. Four, five, six, right? And if we take this, well, let's see here. That's not going to really help us overall because if I remember correctly, the guy was like a five and a four and a four, right? We need to be an eight for this to be worth anything. This is not going to be that useful. So I'm going to go with this one. Um... Uh, best we stack the odds in our favor. We're in dangerous waters here. Prepare for combat. Yeah. Uh, the civilian sh uh, ships, uh, the sh civilians ships hull gives under uh, further attacks from the pirate cruiser. Your in infrared sensors register a massive heat spike as it explodes. You launch the attack on the pirate ships as soon as your weapons are charged. This will be the last ship these pirates ever prey upon. That's fine. Yeah, the morale is not going to make a difference for us. All right, so we have a new game mechanic called Flank Weapon. The enemy ship has a flank cannon. Flank inflicts random damage within a range. Attacks have a shredding value. Uh, hull damage from uh, from a flank, uh, a flak, flak, sorry, a flak. It's called flak cannons, right? Flak weapons. Uh, hull damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than the ship's shredding value triggers a shred status effect on the target each shred stack raises flax minimum damage by one shred decreases by one if not reapplied in a turn okay so an enemy ship has a flak cannon that's uh the new game mechanic flak inf inflicts random damage within a range so it looks like there's a range of three to seven so it could be three, it could be seven, uh, or anything in between. Attacks have a shredding value. Hull damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than the attacking's shredding value triggers a shred. Um, that is equal to or higher than the attacking's shredding value. Uh, triggers a shred status effect on the target. Attacks having shredding value have a shredding value. All damage from a flak attack that is equal or higher than the attack's shredding value. Alright, so I don't know what the shredding value yet. I guess we start off with zero, right? Uh, triggers a shred status effect on the target. Each shred stack raises flax minimum damage by one shred decreases by one if not reapplied in any turn so i guess it starts off at zero and it increases by one so whenever they their their flak damage is higher than the shred value it keeps going up right okay that's fine all right so we have four points only I guess that one point of morale could have given me that guy, right? But that doesn't really matter to me. Because I think this is better overall. And this guy's got a 35 hull points. He's got a flak barrage. He can't attack it on his next turn. His pulse is ready to go, which is four points. We don't have shields. We could target lock him, right? 
Yeah, all right, let's target lock him so I can get, hang on, before I do that. Yeah, see, we are at four points of damage. So once the target lock is applied, the four will go up to five. Right, and then we also have first turn attacks cost minus one ordinance. So we actually could do a bunch of pulse damage, right? All of them, in fact. Yeah, we can do all of them, in fact. So who... who I should probably attack the... Laser, right? If I attack the laser... Hang on, let's... Let's, uh, let's do the sweep first, right? Yeah, let's do the sweep first. See what it attack. Okay, so he's got heat damage. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the pulse laser. So that way he can't attack us next turn. And then the flak will go one more turn, right? Go ahead and end turn. Yeah, so he gets that. His flax is now charged. And it's three to seven, right? Blinding pulse. Deals five damage. Next turn, enemy attack deals minus two damage, right? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this chick's thing. And I'm going to do the pulse on the barrage. And then... Oh, we might actually get a flak attack. Oh my god, I think I... I probably should have blocked it. Yeah, I probably should have blocked it. That's fine. I should have probably done this one and this one. Yep, I made a mistake. I should have probably clicked on that one. We're gonna get shredding damage. Well, at least we'll learn what the shredding damage is, right? Um, all right, the dev just messaged me. All right, so he's out of the water right now, and that means we have an attack on him. Easy peasy. And then we got another card, right? Sorry, right, I'm messing with the dev. Alright, so now I get to choose an equipment, right? Add a card slot for every existing card. Deal 4 damage. All pulse cards played this turn is extra damage. Light torpedo. Uh... Deal 8 damage after 2 turns requires 3 ordnance production. And it depletes, basically, yeah, all missiles deplete. Gain 10 shield points, but it requires me to be already shielded. It's just called shield amplifier, right? So I can't just get 10 shields unless I have shields already. Uh... It deals four damage. All pulse cards played this turn deals plus one damage, right? This has good synergy with these two. 
But the more I add, the less likely I'm going to get the cards I want, right? This allows me to get, this is an upgrade, allows me to get more card slots. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to continue. It's kind of weird if you look at... Um, if you look at the, uh, the credit values too on those, uh, those equipments in my cargo bay, I'll show you in a second here. The, uh, point defense cannon you salvage from the enemy goes to the aux auxiliary, uh, mount, uh, providing effective defense against enemy missiles. Sort of like a target defense. A luxury equipment operates... Uh, without a crew member, but those doesn't add an extra card slot in the combat. Open your ship's data screen to equip it. Yep. All right, so we're gonna equip this on here. See how it's like 120? But when I move it earlier, did you see that? When I moved it earlier, it just was showing like 60. So yeah, the, if you rewind a little bit, you'll see that when I did that earlier, it went this from 60 to 120, and now it's 120 permanently. So let's go ahead and add this here. Yeah, that was 120 earlier. Remember that? Oh, there you go. You see that? How it just switched from 60 to 120? I don't know what's going on with that. That's fine. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and continue. Repair station, right? All right, uh, you come across an abandoned repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seems to be functional. Doc can attempt to do some repairs, sure. Uh, it might not look like it, but some of the equipment left here is actually in good working condition, sure. And we got 12 hull points repaired. Your engineer gets to work with the assistance of the rest of the crew. A few hours later, the hull looks better than, uh, than ever. We got 12 points. We did not get a full, full 50. All right. I don't think we can go back and forth. Well, I think it costs points to go back and forth, though. Or costs uh, fuel. Sir, a gunship has just appeared in front of us out of nowhere. They must have stealth attack that kept them hidden from our sensors. Okay. Uh, we've got an incoming hail patch it through so deadweight captain there you are little magpie we've been looking forward to have uh, looking forward to have a word with you i think we've been looking forward to to having a word with you i think it's meant to say having a word with you uh this doesn't need to get messy hand over the data core you've got in your hold and you'll fly away unscathed with the rest of your salvage power down and prepare for for boarding uh, Lena says, Captain, if we power down our reactor, we're as good as dead. Uh, we're dead either way. We can't take a light cruiser on, on in this ship. Uh, then we go down swinging. I'm not taking orders from a pirate. Engage combat protocols. We make our stand. All right, we're going to fight this guy to the death. Well, I'm not going to give you any, any spoilers since I already know what's going to happen. It saddens me to hear you choose violence, Captain. Today, we choose violence. The data core is designed to withstand thermonuclear blasts. Don't expect us to hold back. So he's going to blast us, and the data core is going to be safe, basically, is what he's saying. So he's going to blow us out of the water with all his nuclear shit. So the data core will, will remain intact. Hopefully someone will save us. Or we actually... Pull out a uh, Star Trek maneuver here uh, and beat the odds. K 
careful that spread shot can shoot down our missiles. So we're looking at spread shot, right? Deal zero to five damage and destroy the closest enemy missile. So he's got a free uh, point defense card on his side. Um, all right, that's fine. What do we have here? We have 12 points. We can only use her, right? And this is not going to help us because I, I don't have any other attacks. This is going to go away if I use it. We're going to save this for, for when they launch their, their star flare, right? There's nothing I can do, really. I mean, I could throw up the shield and we're going to get half point off, right? Yeah, let's just throw up some shields. I might as well. Sure. It's going to get half. So I, I can't do anything else. There's no point in using this because it's going to go away. So we're going to waste the, the thingy. And this is a waste because it will directly do two points of damage to him. But we lose the point defense. And the point defense is useful against this. That saves us against a six-point damage. End turn. All right, so now... Let's see here. Do we have enough points? We do have enough points, right? I'm going to go ahead and target lock this guy. I'm going to use my pulse laser. So it's five points of damage, right? I'm gonna go attack his pulse laser. And this beam is not a specific, right? I'm gonna use the extra power. Okay, it did, it, it kind of took some points off of that. All right, here we go. That means we're gonna take some damage off of this and some damage off of that and the damage off of that. This is bad. Okay. We're gonna use this to mitigate that. And we're going to use the star flare, right? Maintain that. Hopefully it... Well, it's too bad we didn't get a pulse beam. It's not looking good. Shit. Oh no. Alright, so we've got pulse... Laser, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out this pulse laser. Or I can take... Well, yeah, pulse laser, right? Alright, his pulse laser is down. We're going to block. Or do, we, do I want to block or do I want to just beam him? We can't win, I don't think. <laughs> so, let's... I'll take this. Whatever. In turn... He's got protective aim. Oh, protective shields. All right, we're gonna take this out, right? Because that's seven points of damage. And uh, I can block or I can beam sweep. Let's go ahead and beam sweep. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take some damage, aren't we? He's definitely going to barrage us. Oh man, okay. On his next turn, he's got another barrage coming at us. 
You can't do anything else about it. Are we blind? We're still blind right or now. Attack deal minus one, duration is three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our capacity here so we get more cards. I can't really do in a whole lot, right? Uh-oh, we are so screwed. Okay, here we go. So, we have a lifeline being thrown at us. Somebody is coming in, shooting next turn, and wiping him out. These are not ours. So, we're getting a, a lifeline. Somebody's throwing out these missiles at us. Or at him. Yeah, there's no way we can take this guy out. I'm just going to throw the shields up. The target uh, free roamer pilot says target locked missiles away. Hold tight, magpie. The cavalry is here, right? Very nice. I'm going to do what I can. Three points of laser is not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to take out the protective aim then. Oh, I just automatically won. I didn't even hit end, uh, end turn. Alright, so I got some rewards. Let's go ahead and add a card. I don't think this part matters. Um, so, Capacitor gets us whatever free resource we want. Energy, right? But it depletes. It's a free energy card, basically. I can get a repeater. I could scroll right, scroll down. So the repeater says if miss if missiles incoming if missiles incoming destroy the closest enemy missile, else deal two points of damage. Return this card to your hand, it costs one more. Oh. Costs one more energy, right? It's got three charges total. Uh gain four shields, add one duration, disables one production for the duration. Oh, and then this is adds four damage, right? Doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and add this. I'm pretty sure the um, the mission ends. Looks like we arrived just in time, Captain. The director dispatched us for your safe return after hearing about the Atlas incident. We'll continue the pursuit uh, of that ship. Your path to the station is secured. Okay. Home station up, Captain. Preparing docking procedures. Once docked, the station's spin gravity kicks in. You and your crew disembark and head to your station quarters to rest while dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. A few hours later, you're called to meet the station director in her office. Proceed. Station director, I've had our researchers look at the data you've brought back in the black box. We've heavily encrypted Rin, uh, and, uh, while heavily encrypted, Rin managed to extract some of, some data on the research they were conducting at the station. All right, Rin uh, Seidel, Seidel. It has to do with the anomaly that swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of our electronics. Okay, some anomaly. Uh, the equipment aboard the research station was able to extract some sort of information from, from it, leading them to believe it was a message or a signal of unknown origins. All right, so there's a mystery here, the signal. Leading them to believe it was a message or a signal of an unknown origin. Okay. Their data shows multiple stars systems within the Breachway network, uh, where similarly... Uh, within the bre breachway network were similarly affected, which led them to trace the trajectories to a set of coordinates where they converge. Their data shows multiple star systems within the breachway network were similarly affected, uh, 
which led them to trace the tra trajectories to a set of coordinates where they converge. Okay, sure. I'm trying to dissect the sentence that they're trying to convey here. Their data shows multiple star systems within the Breachway network. Were similar. Were sim uh, similarly affected. Which were similarly affected. Uh, which led to the trace of. Okay, yeah, that, I'm confused by this sentence here. This is an awkward sentence here. What are they trying to tell me? Whatever it may be, this information is too dangerous to keep here. The Solari will come looking for it sooner or later. They're already moving their fleets to close the system's breach way access points. They don't want this getting out, okay? Uh, take the black box with you and leave. Rin will accompany you to try and further decrypt the data. Judging by the Solari response, the signal might lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Okay. Uh, Lena Starling, me and I Ivan are joining you as well. We want to see this to the end. Okay. Uh, we are preparing a Corvette class gunship in the hangar for you. Posing as mercenary will allow you uh will allow you move will allow you to move to move freely within the breachway network without rest uh, without raising suspicions will allow you freely yeah it's supposed to say allow you um uh will will allow you to move freely, right? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Continue. Once you are ready to leave, head to the random system in, in the Breachway network, and from there, start making your way towards the signal. Um, this should be a capital S, right? They're calling it's in the game. It's called They're calling it the signal. This should make it more difficult for the Solari to connect you uh, to connect you to this whole thing thing uh this period godspeed captain head to the hangar all right so i can actually choose any of the ships this ship is uh, not in the demo if you if you play the demo the steam fest ne uh, next demo this is actually prevented it's not available to people who are in the demo since I have the press version, I actually can play the Lancer. The Marauder is locked, but you can play the Marauder, but you are required to unlock it by reaching the uh, boss, right? You have to reach the boss sector to unlock the Marauder. And I'm not sure if you have to beat the, the boss to get the Marauder, but you do have to reach the, I think the boss, it says reach the boss sector or something, right? So... I'm going to go ahead and play the Lancer. So that way it gives you guys something to watch. Um, and uh, and drool over, I guess, right? Because I have access to it and you don't. Um, all right, so this is a pretty sweet ship. The Lancer. What about the previous one, the Marauder? Marauder looks pretty cool, too. I like a long ship the arbalus is pretty cool actually the, okay the marauder looks pretty much exactly like the arbalus just a different coat of paint basic shields what is res augmenter resistance resource augmenter i don't know what the res means Resist res booster resource right resource booster maybe maybe resource booster right and the lancer has wow look at the lancer slots I got a rate radiator ooh a cool oh I got weapons coolant wow this lancer is very cool and I get a railgun. Oh my god, pulse lasers, right? These are the basic stuff that we saw during the tutorial. Railgun suppressor, right? What is this? 
hacking module. Ooh, I got a little hacking module. Yeah, so I, uh, okay, so let me read the email I actually got uh, from the Hooded Horse uh, content creator email here. It says I get, so Breachway will be in, in February's next fest uh, event. This preview build, this preview build contains extra exclusive content, including one additional ship, which is the Lancer, right? More equipment, more cards, an additional faction relationship. A hacking mecha uh, mechanic is also present in this build, opening up a new tactical angle not available in the next fest build. So I'm excited to be able to check out this suppressor and railgun, right? Let's go ahead and accept. All right, what else? The railgun has a pinpoint. Deal three damage plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. Uh oh, nice. I get extra damage for each enemy equipment. Deal four damage, 50% bonus damage to equipment. Nice. So these are targeting, railguns can target their equipment, right? Deal four damage on equipment, destroy four additional hull damage. On equipment, destroy, deal four additional... Oh, so if I destroy a, an equipment, I do extra hull damage. Very nice. The railgun is amazing. Suppressor, right? This is a hacking module. Remove one pit from a random enemy attack. Ooh, very nice. Consume one security. Uh, security is protects against enemy hacks and buffs... Uh, uh, enemy hacks buffs up your hack cards. Oh, cool. Uh, discard a random enemy attack card instead. Consume one security. Discard random enemy attack card instead. Okay, hacks. So applies if target has zero security. Otherwise, remove one security from target, right? So I, uh, applies if target has zero security. Otherwise, remove one security from the target, right? So, consumes one security. Discard a random enemy attack card instead. Discard a random... Okay. If they... I guess I, they, if they don't have any security, it discards a random attack... Uh, enemy attack card instead. And it removes one pit from a random enemy attack, right? That stalls them from attacking us. Very cool. Restrain. Firewall adds one security. I guess it adds security for, for us, right? Right, yeah, yeah, it adds it adds security to us. Cost is increased, uh, cost is increased by security. It returns to your card pile on play. Uh, your draw pile on play, so there is no cooldown. So every time I have security, it increases cost, but if I have no security, it starts off at, at two. All right, that's fine. Data center. Axe, right? So minus one enemy shield duration. If already at zero, half his shield points instead. Um, consume one security. Activate. Uh, act activate effect twice. I don't know if that... Does that... I think that removes his security, right? Unless it consumes our security. Okay, security might be our security. I don't know if it's... Oh, so, okay, no, no, we remove their security. It says, uh, otherwise remove one security. So, if I hack, this is a hack card. I'm guessing I hack them, right? Applies if target has zero security. Yeah, we'll find out how the security thing works. I'm curious. This is very interesting, though. What does this one do? Uh, resource augmenter, right? Optimization, resource bag, gain one. 
uh, ordinance for every two mass you spend this turn. Gain one ordinance for every two mass you spend this turn. I have to... Okay, so I have to use these. These are mass, right? Okay, that's fine. All right, I only have basically the 75 points. The previous cargo bay that I had from the tutorial does not apply moving forward, apparently. It does not carry over. All right, well, let's go ahead and accept the Lancer. All right, so blockade, we are in disliked territory. Yeah, let's go ahead and go forward. Well, oh, we are in a Starkin territory, right? Oh, okay. So, okay. So that what that does is it increases something here. It increases some some, some green color. I think it increases relationship with Starkin. That's good, right? Busy with trying to prevent civilians from uh, fleeing the system, only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's heading our way on an intercept course. Prepare for combat. I don't know if the map is procedurally generated or not. We can always find out later once we finish. All right, so am I okay? Well, okay, hang on. This guy is five points command. We can't use any of this. We gain one security. If you, if available, draw cards to fill all empty slots. We already nope. That doesn't help us either. And then weapon coolant, right? Returns up, up to two attack cards from your discard pile to your draw pile. Sustain two heats. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Um, this guy has nothing on us because that requires a pip charge. So next turn, he's he's gonna gain pips. Uh, radiate right. Dis dissipate up to two heats. Nothing. If heat is at zero, gain two. Oh, okay. I will use this, actually. Return two attack cards from your discard pile to your draw pile. Sustain two heat damage. It has a cooldown, right? Deal four damage. 50% bonus damage to equipment. Deal four damage on equipment destroy. Four additional damage, right? Okay. We have mass of four. Able to target enemy equipment. Laser pulse. Yeah, let's go with the laser pulse. It does six to the to the to the durability, right? They have durability twelve. That's fine, let's go with this. Alright, next turn. Let's drill. All right, that's fine. We'll go ahead and end turn. We should be able to take out their laser pulse next turn if we get that card again. Oh, that okay. Hang on. We do have a lot of the eight. Yeah, we do have a lot of the eight. Deal four damage on equipment destroyed. Deals four additional hull damage. And they okay, so he's gonna do his. Okay, we did not. We're not taking that out in time. In point. Deal three. What are you gonna do for me? Hmm. What's available in my draw pile right now?
Okay, the coolant's not working. I need more of this, actually. I don't have enough to do this and this. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and increase my security. So they can't hack us, right? Security. Protects against enemy hacks or hacks. Buffs up your hack cards. Okay. And this is Railgun Deal. Three damage plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment. Alright, we're just gonna go and do this then. Um, weapon coolant. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use the weapon coolant. Return two attack cards from your discard pile to your draw pile to sustain two heat. Yes. Uh, okay, I get two heat though. That's fine. End turn. We're gonna take damage. Four points. We don't have any shields, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure our ship does not have shields. Minus one enemy shield duration, where they don't have any shields. If already at zero, half his shield points instead. Consume one security, activate. Okay, we don't want to hack him, he has no shields. Uh, deal four damage, bonus to the guns. Pinpoint, right? Okay. Deal 4 damage. On equipment, destroy deals... Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna destroy this. Alright, so that's extra damage to him. I'm not gonna sap him. I'm gonna save the sap. Yeah, what's next? We're going to get Restraint, and we're going to get Optimization next, right? We're going to get Optimization. He's going to, to get Shields up. I won't be able to do both of this next turn. I'm gonna get rid of this for now, so I get two cards. These two cards. I'm, so I'm guaranteed the restraint and the optimization. Yeah, and we're gonna spend the, the mass. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and turn. So he's got the shields up. So we're gonna sap him. Right, minus one enemy shield duration. If it's already at zero, half the shield points is dead. Consume one cons cons con security, right? Yeah. So it's arc security, right? That's fine. So restraint removes pip from a random enemy attack. Discard a random enemy attack card instead. Oh, okay. Wow. Interesting. Optimization. Gain one for every two you spend. Yeah, let's go ahead and optimize. Is that permanent? I don't know if it's permanent. Oh, it's for one turn only. Okay, and then restraint. It's fine, let's go ahead and use our restraint on them. So it consumes one security, but we don't have that, right? Remove one pit from a random attack. So that means the pulse laser is gonna get minus one. There you go. And then end turn. All of our cards are on cooldown.
Add one security cost is increased by security. Returns your draw pile. What's if available, draw cards to fill the ball. Any I can't. Radiate dis dissipate two. If if he is at zero, gain two. Right? Yeah. And he can't do any attacks, anyways. That's fine. Go ahead and end turn. I don't want to use this because we can probably save this for the future. All right, so he's now got shield pulse next, right? We're going to go ahead and pinpoint the shield. So that's down. And then what's this one say? Return two attack cards from your discard pile to to your draw pile, sustain two heat. Yeah, that's fine. And then deal four damage on equipment. Destroy it. Well, he's only got four anyways. He should be down by four anyways. Yep. All right. Easy peasy. All right. So we're going to add a card. All right. What do I want? Generate one extra ordinate for every two attack cards you hold at the end of your turn. For every two attack cards you hold at the end of your turn. I don't want another one of these. I already have one. I don't need more sapping. I need more damage cards, right? Deal three damage to one. Uh, oh yeah, I want more damage cards, basically. That, I think, is more important right now. Alright, what else do we have here? Blockade. Oh, the dislike goes up. Yeah, the Starkin is not happy if we go there. The last fight drew the attention of everyone in the area. Multiple ships are approaching on intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into combat range in time. Press on and prepare for combat. Okay. I don't think I need to worry about that, right? They it'll be a while till these guys actually can attack, right? Let's see here. Return two attack cards or just discard piles, remove one pip from a random enemy attack and consume this consume one security discards a random attack card. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the wait, consume one I don't know what happens when you remove it, right? I don't want to consume uh, security, right? Let's go ahead and, and remove the, the pit, so that means they won't be able to attack us. Deal 4 damage. Um, on equipment destroy, it deals 4 additional rights. Okay. And the barrier is sex, right? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully we can knock that guy out. And my cooldown is restraint. Alright, I'll throw up my firewall. And then I'll continue. Alright, they've gained their pips. This does five points of damage, right? This does six. Alright, I'm gonna take this guy out. Nice. So he can attack me. And return up to two two attack cards to my discard pile. Or to my draw pile, right? 
So now I have a tax again coming up, potentially. These three. And there's two that's not here, right? These two here, the radiate and optimization. Um, no reason to sap anything right now. Yeah, no reason to sap anything. All right, that's fine. That's end turn. So now he has barrier on his next turn, right? I can't do pinpoint twice. I can deal four points of damage. Or deal three damage plus one. Okay, so I'm going to do damage to, his, to that one. Yep, that's fine. End turn. So he's got shields up. Consume one security, right? Uh, if you if already have zero, half the shield points instead, consume one security, activate twice. So I have security, consume one security, activate effect twice. So I can shield, I can half them twice, right? Or I can pinpoint. I'm gonna pinpoint. Because I only have five points here. I'm gonna go ahead and pinpoint this to remove it. Oh. He's got shields up, so I can't pinpoint it. Oh, I should have just sapped him. I could have just sapped him and, and used the drill, right? Okay, that was a mistake. Oh no, that was a mistake. So when he has the shields up, I can't do uh, precise attacks. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and remove his shield twice, right? Minus enemy shields. I, I actually do have... Yeah, see, that should remove the shields. And then now... I can do rail guns against the shields. Hang on, what, does this guy do anything for me? Deals 50%? An extra 50% damage. Six, seven, eight, nine, right. Hang on, fifty percent more is six. Okay, so is that rounding up? Fifty percent bonus damage to equipment. Fifty percent more is six points. Will that take out his? No. Well, I don't. He's not going to attack me next turn, right? So I might as well do this. Prevents him from putting his shields up. Yeah, prevents him from putting shields up. Alright, what is this gonna do? Four points of damage. I don't need this. Four points of damage plus an extra two, right? Radiate, dissipate two heat, and gain two. Returns two attack from the discard piles. Do we have anything? I do have two more pinpoints. 
Deal four damage. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. He's gonna attack on his turn. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and re Oh, I should have dissipated it too, but that's okay. It's fine. Yeah, he's gonna do six points of damage on me. That's kind of bad, actually. Damn it. Deal three damage and three damage. This is not helping me. Restraint does what? Remove tips from... Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, in turn. I should have probably discarded that, but that's okay. Pinpoint. Doesn't matter, it's gonna go down anyways, right? Okay. So we have 40 points of hull damage. If the enemy if if enemy shred is at least three, damage a second uh random equipment. Does that do shred? I don't know if that does shred. It's rail guns, but I don't know if that does shred, right? I don't think that does shred. Gain one for every two cards in your hand at the end of turn. On stack, add duration. I go with this one, right? Deal six damage. If enemy shred is at least three, damage a second random equipment. Oh. I'm gonna go with that. More damage is always good. More attack cards. All right, so that's neutral zone. Oh, I've got a basic missile rack. I forgot to add that earlier. Oh, but I have no one to control it. There you go. So he can go there to control it. I don't have enough money to increase my reactor. Oh, I increase capacity. Ooh. My capacity is currently at three, right? I should save money for this. Because my generation right now is pretty bad. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to increase capacity. Yeah, I'm going to increase capacity. That's fine. Alright, that's fine. Let's go back. Neutral zone, right? After we breach the blockade, multiple ships tr try to make a run and exit the system. As we mix in with a group of civilian vessels, the Starkin gunships break off pursuit and focus on keeping the fleeing ships in. Lina Flora. Forova. For Forova? Forova. Incoming message request, Cap Captain. It's impossible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Okay. Unknown contact. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you've shown there. I could use the services of a bold freelancer such as yourself. I'm a data broker by trade, willing to offer a generous reward in exchange for some valuable intel. 
Okay, what intel would you like? Unknown contact says, I need to gather data on the most powerful gunships in this sector. All you need to do is send your combat logs to the specified coordinates after fighting two elite ships. And I'll transfer 150 credits on delivery. Elite ships, huh? Oh, and Captain, pick a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. You'll need all the firepower you can get. Consider it an investment in your future. Ooh, we have a benefactor, huh? Very interesting. Take the, la the light laser or take the basic ion. Can I read the... Read the descriptions? How does this work? Can I right click? I would like to be able to read the, the descriptions of these cards. I don't know why there's a discard button over there. Pulse lasers lets me target stuff, right? Ion Spear also lets me target. I don't know what the sling is. One is more ordnance heavy than the other, right? I'm gonna go with the laser. Wish I could choose to, to read it. A few moments later, a transport container emerges from somewhere in the group of ships headed to your location. You pry it open on the cargo bay after a security scan and pick up its content. Have your crew install the weapons and proceed. Yeah, it would be nice if they let us review um, the, uh, the cards. Uh, while making those choices, right? During the uh, galaxy map dialogue choice boxes. I wish I screenshot that. So I wish I screenshot that so I can give feedback on it. All right, so let's go ahead and install this, right? Wait, where's the... Oh, it got installed already. Oh, but we don't have enough people to use that, right? It requires... I think it requires crew to be able to, to use stuff. I think that's how it works. Where is the signal? I think we need to go there, right? Boss combat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to make my choices. It says elite... Elite missions, right? Elite combat. What's that one say? Space Station. I've got these dislikes. There's a Space Station Neutral over there, right? I think I might just go this direction. Like that? Yeah, let's go with that. You are hailed by a maintenance ship that's further ahead on your flight path. It offers to service your ship's equipment for a price. Decline. You can't afford any additional services. It's, it offers to service your ship's equipment for, for price. For a price, I think. Decline. You can't afford any additional services. I don't have a choice, right? <laughs> All right, fine. 
conflict zone dislike waypoint it's disliked I don't know what this means is it increase it if I go through this I want to get to this right let's go through the conflict zone an unregistered ship present in contested starken space is approaching on an attack vector prepare for combat yes let's go ahead and do that all right so this guy is going to do shredding shredding five right add one shred for every x haul damage I don't know what the shred five. Every shred point increases minimum flank damage by one. I'm still kind of fuzzy on the shredding mechanic. Um, but he will shred us next turn. Removes one pip from a random enemy attack. Yes. Oh, can I hack him? Right, this should... Completely remove that guy, right? Yeah. I don't know when that comes back, if or if it does come back. Deal three damage. Minus one for, uh, for the next attack played this turn. Minus one cooldown for the next attack played this turn. Oh, quick pulse. Oh, okay. And pinpoint, deal three damage. Plus one equipment damage for each for each equipment, right? Plus five. They don't have shields. Plus three. Minus one cooldown for the next attack played this turn. Alright, well let's go ahead and Do this. I don't know if this is coming back or not. Plus three, uh, plus five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus one. Okay, so that's gonna destroy it. Yep. All right. End turn. Oh, it does come back. Well, that was kind of a waste. Alright, I did not need to waste the, uh, the hack, because it would have, the effect would have been exactly the same. Yeah, the effect would have been exactly the same. I think it would have been better to remove the the pip deal four damage on equipment destroy okay no we don't need the sap let's go ahead and remove that deal four damage i don't have the uh the power right All right, let's go ahead and radiate this. Now I have three. Yeah, all right, that's fine. That's all I can do. Kind of sucks though. I should have, I should have done the, uh, t the thingy. Flank reload. What the hell does this do? Reload flank shells. Alright, I'm gonna use this. This is... This is the mass, right? For every gain one, for every two mass spent this turn. I don't know. 
Oh, can I destroy that? that that's interesting, right? Okay. And plus one equipment damage for each... Plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment, right? Okay, fine. Coolant. I'm okay with the coolant. Fine, let's just go ahead and do this. Pinpoint. Yeah, it doesn't. The durability is already at zero. This uh, this repair doesn't make a difference. Yeah, that repair does not make a difference. Firewall add security. Costs increase by. Uh, okay, yeah, no, it's fine. I need to just take them out, right? I can't do anything else. Return one card, uh, attack card from your discard pile to your hand. Nope. Nope, that's not gonna help me. Minus one cooldown for the next attack play this turn. Okay, yeah, that should be that should be it, right? Done. Sure. Ooh. Frag round deal six damage on equipment destroyed. Plus one repair time on all destroyed equipment. Oh interesting. Rearm. Oh, I actually have more cards down here. Gain two if you if you end your turn with three or less. Upgrade. I think upgrade is a one-time thing. Oh, interesting. I don't need another coolant. Deal six damage on equipment destroy plus one repair. I'll take this. Can I can I discard cards? I don't know. This is a deck building game. We should be able to discard cards, right? Can we discard cards? What does discard mean? I don't know. What what does this card do? Do we discard the weapon? I don't I don't I don't know what this card does. I'm kinda of scared to hit the discard button. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of hitting the discard button. There's no save load mechanic to this game either. So I'm kind of scared to hit the discard button. Yeah, I wish I... I knew the answer to this. Yeah, I'm very scared of hitting the discard button. Uh, hang on, I'm asking the dev. Yeah, I don't know what this discard thingy does. I 
I mean, I could just try it on the missile rack. I don't know. If, uh, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to mess with that. Until I find an answer to what that discard button does. I mean, what they should do is... When you roll your mouth over it... It should say... Um... You know, specific the or the entire equipment. Um, yeah. All right, that's fine. I don't want to discard that. That's fine, let's go back. Let's move forward. There's only one way forward, right? We can't go back. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we can't go back. Here we go. Your sensors pick up pick up a massive heat reading uh, up ahead. An elite Starkin gunship is fast uh, is approaching fast. Prepare for combat. This is the elite ship, right? We need to fight two to get some money. All right, so this is the only thing they can do next turn. Every time Chain Burst is played, reduce the cooldown of Chain Burst attacks by one. Every time Chain Burst is played, Reduce the cooldown of Chain Burst attacks by one. I'm guessing Chain Burst goes there next turn. Deal three damage, minus one cooldown for the next attack play this turn. What's Restraint? Remove one pip from a random attack. Yes, we want to do that. Gain one for every um, for every two that we use, right? We're going to use this one. Uh, on equipment destroy. Okay, so what I want to do Let's go with this. Alright, so we need to spend this, basically. And then Quick Pulse. Applies it to this one, right? And then... We need to use this to get another three three points. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't actually have a damage, but it lets us pick. It just does haul damage. All right, and then this one consumes one to remove the pit. Oh, that's a, that's an attack. Oh, okay. So he can't spin up next turn. I guess that's an attack. It's a laser attack. It's fine. Okay. This will remove his pulse. Plus 
plus one equipment damage for each enemy equipment, right? Okay, I can only do... Let's see here, what's this one? On equipment, destroy. Plus one repair time to all destroyed equipment. Okay. And then return up to two attack cards from your discard pile. Sustain heat, right? I'm going to add security because I there's nothing else I can do here. Do I need to add security? No. Because I... If I do that, I can only get two points next turn, right? Let's go ahead and return this. Radiate. Dissipate up to two heat if heat... It... Oh, I should have used the other one. That's fine. Coolant. It's fine. I got lasered. What the hell is chain burst? I got lasered. Okay. It's 15, right? Chain burst is gonna wind up. He's got shields. He's got shields on him. Precise round. Deals three damage. But at least uh, damage a second time, right? Pinpoint. Quick pulse. I only have enough for one thing. Alright, let's go ahead and sap this guy. Deal 4 damage on equipment destroy. Deal 4 haul damage. 6 damage. 3 3. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. What about drill? Drill is 4, right? This is better. Chain burst. Oh man. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and continue. He can't do anything to us. His pips are up, right? Deal 4 damage, 50% bonus to equipments. I could only do one or the other, right? Or the next attack played this turn. Deal four damage, plus four on equipment destroyed now, right? Tunson? All right, I'm gonna go with this one. Hopefully I get another one of those. I'm going to discard that one. It's not going to help me. Gain six shields? Oh no, no, he's got he's got shields. Gain one for every two that I spend this turn. That's not going to help me. Remove Pip from a random... random thingy right yeah let's go ahead and do that oh man all right that's fine i can only do this one and this one right so uh let's see here uh three to this one 
And six of this one. Oh shit, oh shit, he's got shields, that's why. Yeah, that's fine. Can't do anything, he's got shields. Oh shit, we're getting smacked hard. Radiate, dissipate two heat. If zero heat gains two. This should take out this one, right? And an optimization? Oh wait, did I? What card did I just play? Card did I just play? Oh, I played that one. Okay, I don't feel as bad. Optimization is not going to help me. Yeah, he's going to fortify next turn. End turn. Yeah, he's going to fortify. Shit, that's annoying. Yep, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Three damage. Firewall. At security, that's fine. Or no. If I do that, I lose. I can only do quick pulse. Yeah, I, I have to break through his shield anyways. That's fine. It's not like I can do any of this. It won't, it won't cut through his thing. And turn. Shit, I'm, I'm going down. Return two attack cards from your discard piles. And sustain two heat. All my attack cards are ready. I just don't have any... Any power. Yeah, I don't have any power. Hang on, return one card from your discard pile to your hand. From my discard pile? You mean my cooldown pile? I only have one, right? There's, there's that one that I can do. I can't do anything else, honestly. This is not gonna work out. Well, he can't do anything else other than shields. Yeah, shit. He's just bopping himself over and over. I need to get rid of that fortify. Yeah, I can't do a whole lot. This is all three. Six, three. Yeah, all right, so we'll, we'll just quick pulse this. I can't do anything through this. This is terrible. Four, three, right? And turn. Well, no, he's got fortify again next turn. Let's 
chain burst next, right? Jesus. Two and three. I mean, that's all I got, right? He's going to fortify next turn. Well, oh, no, he's... Oh, my goodness. This is bad. Just pay two heat. If his heat is zero, gain two. Fine. Deal four um, damage. He's got ten. Remove one pit from us. I guess we definitely want to do that. Oh no. Oh yeah. I got the hack card thingy. Shit. Plus one equipment for each damage, four, which is better. Oh, they didn't, oh, oh God. It didn't attack us. Oh man, that's bad. Oh Jesus. Consume and activate it twice. Oh my goodness, fine. What can I pinpoint? Precision. There you go. All right, so that removes that temporarily shuts that down for a bit. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna basically put his shields up again, and we're taking damage next turn. No, no, the turn after, right? Four additional hull damage on equipment destroy. Shit. Alright, that I can't do anything. I can't do anything else, right? Shit, next turn he's gonna chain burst us. Return up to two cards from your discard pile to your draw pile. Sustain heat. I mean, I have nothing on cooldown other than this and this, right? That doesn't do a whole lot for me. Return up to two attack cards from your discard pile. Sustain two heat. Eh, fine. Can't really do a whole lot. He's gonna shield up again. Oh no, I'm gonna take damage. This is very bad. Very, very bad. This elite ship is very hard. Yeah, this elite ship is very hard. Next damage is 50%. His shields need to go away. I have no shields. This Lancer sucks. That's terrible.
three and three. Yeah, I don't think I can sustain another another turn here. If available, to fill up all empty card slots, right? Dissipate up to two heat. And gain two, right? Why didn't it let me gain my two? Oh, it removed the two heat already. Right, right, right. Fine. Gain one security. Return one attack to my hand. What are my other options? Yeah, I want... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and end turn. And I don't think we're going to survive this. Remove a pit from a random thingy. Let's do that. But he can't attack me next turn. And then a quick pulse. We're not going to survive next turn, are we? Chain burst. No, we. Well, we will survive once, right? I think I should have been targeting his shields. Yeah, alright. That's it. You got to the shields. And we're screwed with a chain burst. We're screwed with a chain burst. Uh, yeah, we're screwed with a chain burst. Deal six on the on the thing. We may not be entirely screwed. I don't know. No, we are screwed actually. Shit. We're definitely screwed. We're definitely screwed. Because the chain burst is going to hit us. We can't avoid the chain burst. Three, five, no. Fifty percent attack more, right? Yeah, we are screwed. I don't have anything else in me. Two, two, three. Okay, I might be able to get away with a three. Six, seven, eight, nine, right? That's not gonna work. Oh man. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Four and three. Six and three is probably my best bet. It doesn't matter how I do this. I'm, I'm. He's got. Oh my god, we failed. No, we're getting. Oh my god, we're getting wrecked. 
Yep, we're getting wrecked. Alright, that did not end very well. Alright, that is terrible, terrible, terrible. Yep, alright, so I'm gonna do another run here in a second. So, BRB. Alright, so welcome back everybody. Uh, I now have a new version of Breachway. Apparently uh, the developers have uh, fixed the bug or at least gave me a new version. They told me to go ahead and uh, update the press build one more time. Uh, I guess they were working on that while I was doing my recording. And hopefully, or supposedly, this should address some of those bugs that we encountered. Uh, so as you notice, this is now slightly more in line with the demo uh, version that's uh, available for the, uh, the Steam Fest next version. Because if you notice, the uh, the Twitter here icon is now an X, and the, the press version had like the old Twitter icon. Um, Alright, so and then I also have a continue button here for some reason but they told me to go ahead and hit the new run just so that i get a, a proper new save file so let's go ahead and do that and i disabled the prologue so we shouldn't get the tutorial anymore all right let, uh, let's try it one more time see if we can get away with the lancer turns out the lancer is actually harder because it doesn't have the shields. So this hacking system makes it a lot harder playing the Lancer um, and not having that shields. The Marauder I think is better because we get the shields, right? Optimization energy surge. Oh, they upgraded this. They oh, it's different now. I gained four instead of one. Oh yeah. So this is different from the one we just played a second ago. So they actually did some updates to this. Maybe to balance it better. Lose up to four on turn N. Gain Four, sustain one heat, lose up to four on turn N. Oh, this is use it or lose it. Interesting. Dissipate up to two heat if if heat is the zero gain to no, we actually we didn't get that last game, right? I think they added this card. Right, they added that card. That was not in there. So that's different. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know if it's worth doing this still because this is not, I mean, this is cool, but we kind of need the shields to survive. It's a lot harder to do without the shields. All right, we'll we'll try the lancer one more time. And I want to remove. Oh, I can't do it yet. Oh, it is different, right? I think it is procedurally generated. It is different. I think it might be different. Yeah, it's different because that used to be the green, right? Yeah, so it is procedurally generated. All right, I want to remove this by one. Increase my power a little bit. No. Yeah, see, we don't have a whole lot of damage stuff here. 
I would like to get more points on this. I think what I should have done was spend points on on the uh, reactor last game rather than upgrading this. No, let's go with this. Energy is not as important. All right, let's go with that. And then next time I'm going to spend my money on this. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And then this here, my dislike with Stark, and we're at four, right? Uh, busy with trying to prevent civilians from uh, fleeing the system. Only one gunship has noticed our approach. It's heading our way on an intercept course. Prepare for combat. Sure. Ooh, the ship is kind of cool. Oh, you can rotate and see the... Can I can I rotate any other way? No, right. I can't rotate it fully for some reason. Yeah, so I can rotate my thing all the way around, but oh maybe oh yeah, there we go. No. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Um, all right, let's take a look here. We've got one free turn before they attack us, right? Return two attack cards. We don't need to worry about that. Gain one for every two that we spend this turn, right? I'm going to do optimization. And then we're going to go ahead and drill them. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to take out the weapon. And I'm going to drill them. And I'm going to return my two cards. I'm going to end turn. Here we go. Alright, so we've now got what? One more till this guy. T oh, yeah. Next turn, he's going to attack us. So this is going to remove his... This pit there on the shield pulse. It says it's an attack card, right? Wait, what was that hack, right? Didn't I just do that one? Restrain, right? Remove one pit from a random attack. That's not an attack card, is it? Okay. I guess it's re removed from any cards, right? From any enemy card. Consume one security. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh, I did that one. Instead of the restraint. Oh. I screwed up. I screwed up, didn't I? Interesting, I screwed up. That's okay. Uh... Yeah, I screwed up again on the other one. All damage. Okay, let's see here. Can I spend this? Oh, I only have four points. If available, tr uh, draw cards to fill up my thing, right? 
Yeah, let me do that. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. These are terrible. Shit, I thought I could take that card out. I really screwed up the beginning of this. Oh, this is new, right? Gain four, sustain one heat, lose up to four at the end of the turn. Alright, I want to take this one out. This is five, right? Gain four, sustain one heat. Because I don't want him charging up his shields. Optimization, gain one for every two that I spend? No. And pips, no. I can't do anything this turn. Neither can- well, he's gonna attack me one turn- oh my god, he's gonna attack me. Terrible. This is, I really effed up this this run. Yep, I really effed up this run. Deal four damage, right? Turn. He can't do anything. Pinpoint. Doesn't matter. Alright, I took 8 points of damage. Add a card. Alright, what does this one do? Reduce cooldown of the cards in the discard pile by 1. Sustain 1 heat for every 5 cards affected. Don't care. Gain 4 and deplete. That deplete me basically means it gets removed, right? This is like an emergency card. Uh, equipment destroyed with railgun attacks take plus one turn to repair. Reduce card cooldown the cards in the discard pile by one. Sustain one heat for every five cards affected. Minus one to enemy shield duration if already at zero. Half his shield points instead. Consume security and do it twice. Hmm. Enemy destroyed with a railgun. But that uses mass. I don't have a whole lot of mass. It's an upgrade, though. I guess I'll take the upgrade. That's fine. Continue. Alright, let's keep moving forward here. The dislike did not change. Alright, that's fine. Uh, last fight drew attention. Everyone in the area, multiple ships are approaching. Intercept course, but only one of them is close enough to get into the combat range time. Press on to continue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the developer also responded to my thing about uh, the preview card or preview equipment, right? So that's going to get addressed later in the future. Right now, there's no way to preview the cards on a uh, dialogue choice. So, uh, wow, they were pretty quick in responding to my feedback. Okay, so this is Ignite, and it gives me three heat when he shoots at me. I get extra when I spend this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do the do the beam damage. Hang on, what was the other one? I turn up to two cards. And I get and I sustain two heat damage, that's fine. Moving forward. Alright, so en energy sap, right? No. Firewall, no. 
Sure, I guess it's fine. I don't need that. That's an energy surge. I don't need energy surge. I don't need this. Let's go ahead and take that off. Draw two cards to fill up the empty card slots. I need to take them out now while I still can, right? Oh, I can't. It only costs two. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, my God. I Oh, I forgot. I can't spend him. It's fine. Hopefully, I can take him out before he hits me. Remove one pip, right? It's fine. Dissipate two heat and gain up to... If zero, gain two. On equipment, destroy. Deal four. That's fine. I have no choice, right? Yes, yeah, so I gained four, but lose up to four on turn N. That doesn't help me. He's getting his barrier. Shit. This is pinpoint, right? This is not helping me. Jesus. Can't do anything, anyways. Because he's already got his six up. Can't do anything there, right? Cool, right? Return up to two attack cards to your discard pile. Sap return re removes his thing, right? Removes the shield duration. Sure. Turn up to two. Sure. Don't care. Hopefully I can kill him before he uses his thing. Alright, his shield's gonna be down. I can't do anything, right? He's gonna attack me. Shit. Restraint is minus the pip, right? Can't do anything else. I can pinpoint this guy, right? Radiate. Drill does what? Alright, that's fine. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's fine. Dissipate the heat? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get plus two. Alright, I'm going to take this off because turns out we need more of that. He's going to attack me on his turn, isn't he? And use shields. This is terrible.
Yeah. Damn it. Man, this hacking and not having shields a little bit more tricky. Fifty percent bonus. Nice. Oh, that's awesome sound effect. All right, he can't attack me. I should be able to take him out now. All right, add card. Hopefully, I can make enough money to buy stuff here if gain two if if you end your turn with three or less this is an upgrade right that might actually be useful i'm gonna go with this one because we do end up having a lot last turn building up I'm too short, three short from that. It's fine. Yeah, we do end up getting that a lot. The energy was kind of low. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. Gateway. Neutral. After we breach the blockade, multiple ships try to make a run exit the system as we mix with a group of civilians. The Stark and gunships break off pursuit and keep on focusing. Okay, yeah. Incoming message, right? The uh, mysterious benefactor. He wants to give us a choice. After six combat encounters, I'll transfer... Oh, he just wants six combat encounters. Last time he wanted two elite ships. Oh, Captain, pick a weapon for my reserve. Wow, you're at it. You'll need it. A power, power. Consider it as investment in your future. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I can't tell what's what. I don't know what the Ion Spear is. light lasers let's try the basic ion this time around sure because last time we did the quick pulse so now we can look at this yeah the developers are going to fix it so we can actually roll over this to make a better decision deal six ion damage on shield break um add six ion ion damage only damages shields if hull hit Convert damage to ionize. On shield breaks, add six ionize. Uh, enemy, um, each six ionize delay one random attack. Each six ionize delay one random attack. Player, each six uh, ionize disable one random resource production. Oh, so we don't get resource production, but they don't get, they don't get, uh, an action point movement or the pips, right? Or, oh yeah, they just, they delay one action. It's not necessarily pip increase. Only damage shields. If hull hit, convert damage to ionize. On shield break, add six ionize. Okay, that might be interesting. Deal ion damage. That might actually solve our shield problem against the enemy. On shield break, disable target equipment for two turns. Oh. 
And I guess if they don't have shield... Oh, Ion is kind of cool, actually. If hull hit converts damage to ionize. Oh, this is actually not bad over the quick quick pulse. Okay. Oh yes, and I learned that the word discard means that you discard the entire equipment. To get rid of cards, you have to go to a station and pay the cost to remove cards. So whenever you add cards, you can't remove them unless you're at a station. So discard basically gets rid of the equipment. Is what I've learned. Okay. Conflict zones, right? That's an elite combat. Elite combat. Space station disliked. All right. That's a that's a elite combat. There's no way around the elite, huh? I can only go. I might be able to go through this and go like this. Avoid the elite. I don't know. I might be able to do that. What's the fun in that, right? Well, these are unknowns. So we don't ne necessarily know. Well, let's go through this. Yeah, let's go through this and see how this goes. Traversing uh, Stellari conflict zone is strictly prohibited. A patrol ship moves to intercept. God, there's so many people that hate us. Heavy barrage. It increase, um, produces the whole flacking thingy, right? Shredding five. Every shred point increases minimum flak damage by one. Apply one shred for every X hull damage dealt. Okay, so they have to deal five points of hull damage to get one shred on us. And every shred po point increases the minimum flak damage by one. Okay, okay, okay. I think I understand now. So the shredding five basically says that they apply a shred for every X hull damage dealt. But if they don't reach that five, it's basically a way to get this in to increase zero to five damage and destroy... The closest. Enemy missile. So they don't. These guys don't have shields. Disable target equipment. On shield break. Disable target equipment for two turns. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Let's find out if the hell this if this works very well. Enemy operation delayed. Indicates ion level. Disables one random resource per, uh, or sorry, des delay one random action. Okay. Hang on, let me read that again. Disables target equipment for two turns. Oh, I should have just delayed that one on the left. Deal four damage on equipment destroy. Get hull damage, right? 
I'm gonna go with this. And then I could return to attack from your discard pile. Sustain two heat, yeah, that's fine. End turn. Okay. Deal damage on shield break, disable target equipment for two rounds. All right, let's do that one. Enemy operations delayed. Okay. And radiate, dissipate two heat. If no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to add this. This is useless. All right, yeah, it's end turn. So he's going to do 0 to 5, right? Three, okay. Interesting. At six ion. Shatter, right? Equipment destroyed with rail guns. With railgun attack takes one turn to uh, one turn to repair. Okay. I only have one blue, three, three blue anyway, so I can't do any whole lot on that. Radiate. Or radiate. Restrain basically removes him, right? On shield break, X adds six ionize. All right. This should prevent that guy from. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. Okay. So yeah, that's fine. All right. So pinpoint. Here, uh, I should remove a pip, right? Hang on, what's his optimization say? All right, he loses a pip. I'm gonna get rid of that and turn. Right, so I'm gonna ionize that one. Nice. Oh my god, this ionize is very good. Nice. I don't need energy surge, right? Well, let's see here. I get the energy surge. And then I draw four cards. Which is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Sorry, this one, this one, this one. That's not going to help me. I could pinpoint though, right?
All right, which card is still available to me? That's useless. That's useless. Okay. Rearm. That's useless. Okay, all those are useless. Alright, we get one turn. What, another free turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. All useless. Useless. To my draw pile, right? Useless. Return, okay. Okay. Useless. Return one card from your discard pile to your hand. Um, sling, right? Deal six ion. Okay, yeah. I should delay that guy, right? All right, that's fine. So that gets delayed. We need to really take this guy out now. On equipment, destroy, right? Deal four damage on equip equipment destroy deals four additional hull damage. Radiate this dissipate up to two. Gain three. Alright, why well, don't it won't destroy the equipment? Oh, it does destroy the equipment. Nice. Dissipate up to two heat? No, right? He's gonna f do a five to ten shred on me, though. Yeah, that's bad. Shit, a full twelve. Oh god, that's bad. Five to three to five. Eight ion damage. All right, let's go ahead and pinpoint that guy. Gain up to two. It's fine. And remove a pip. Versus disable him. For two turns. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove this it disable him for two turns. That's fine. He it, yeah, he's dead in the water. I just need to be able to attack him. I need to attack him, right? Before that other one gets repaired. It's fine. Oh shit, okay. Well, I should be fine now, right?
Yep, alright. We should now have money to upgrade our reactor. Gain one for every one production. Draw an attack card, sustain two heat. Interesting. Turn the closest incoming missiles into an outgoing firefly require incoming missile. I don't need another drill. Drill kind of sucks. Man, these are terrible. Turn the closest incoming missile into an outgoing firefly requires incoming missile. That might be okay. I need I need better damage cards. I'm gonna take this one, I guess. Hopefully that's going to work out. Uh, engineer, sir, I was able to patch up our hull a little with some of the salvage we took off that ship. Nice, Shin. You did good, Shin. You did good. Alright, let's keep going then. All right, it's one way forward, right? You come across the Solari patrol ship. Its stated mission is securing the area for humanitarian efforts. Efforts with a without the. Yeah, they really need to start fixing a lot of these techs. Preventing pri pri preventing privacy, piracy. Yeah, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of, I guess, um, typos. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of typos. All right, so hail captain, you are in the Solari controlled space. P please provide your hull identification number as well as the identi identity of everyone on board. What? Uh, what do you want to do, captain? Provide the requested data. Attack the patrol. The relations go down. Yeah, let's provide the requested data. We don't want to reduce our data everything seems to be in order thank you for your cooperation okay uh this uh these uh starkin gunship ends her missions and proceeds to patrol uh this flight path proceed attack it now let's go ahead and proceed no reason to attack the solari There's a conflict zone over there. Let's go over the neutral zone. This zone has seen a lot of skirmishes and raids on the local free roamer population. Oh, free roamer is the neutral guys. The situation is tense and our trespassing is uh, taken as an action of aggression. A, a militia gunship is moving into attack. Oh. Probably a bad idea to move through the free zone. The neutral zone, right? Hmm. Alright, so they've got missiles and they've got pulse lasers. Dissipate up to two heat. If if heat is zero, gain two. Alright, let's go with that. 
they have no thingy, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, reduce them down with ionize. Plus one, uh, plus one equipment damage. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna remove we're gonna use firewall that's fine we're gonna remove their pulse lasers we got one free turn left right all right the free turn is gonna end now right Wait, how many cards are in my attack? Okay. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's hack. Yeah, let's hack this. Nice. And then... Coolant. It's fine. I generate heat. I'm okay with that. Oh, it actually attacks their... Their thing, huh? Directly, too. Well, that's not bad. I thought it was just the icon that removes it. The shield icon, but I guess... That works too. Gain two. If you end up your thing with plus three or less, okay. If you end your turn with three or less, be armed, okay. But I don't have the five points anyways. Pulse lasers. Hang on, make sure I got that correctly. Consume security activated twice. This is useless. They don't ever have shields. Take that guy out. So he can't attack us next turn. This is useless until we spend it, right? All right, end turn. But next turn, he's going to have an upgrade in the Firefly. All right, what's this one do? The equipment destroyed with railgun attacks takes one turn to repair. This will take out the other guy, right? Yeah, alright, that's fine. Okay. Ionized, nice. Alright, that's fine. Optimization. I'm gonna take the get rid of that one, right? I don't need this. All right, so rearming. Yeah, I'll rearm. And we're gonna gain four, right? We're gonna sling. Oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. I don't know if this drill actually gives us the extra four if I choose the other guy. What's left?
We got an energy surge and a firewall. Let's take that. Damn, this sucks. What else is available to me? Energy surge, right? And a firewall. Ugh, I can't do anything else. I probably shouldn't have used those command points. Wait, what just happened to us? Alright, we're gonna hack the... The thing. That goes back to them. Yeah, that goes back to them. Alright, we're gonna use a surge. We're gonna pinpoint... This dude. Oh, I should probably should have just... I don't know, it's fine. I probably should have... Done that one. Because now we're gonna lose... Up to four next turn. Yeah, damn it. Nice, he got hit. This is useless. For every two I spend. We're gonna drill, right? Restraint? All right, so we're not getting a, a bomb. We are gonna get pulse though. Yeah, oh, shit. Ion spear, sling, firewall. All right. Let's disable this. Ah, oh, we disabled the one on the right. That's not what I wanted. Shit. We're getting a fire. I don't know. That is bad. Pinpoint or drill? For each, uh, plus one for each, uh, equipment, right? One and three. We're gonna take four points of damage. This is very bad. No, oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. We dodged the missile. Boomerang deals ion damage if shield if shielded gains shield points equal to enemy shield points destroyed. Oh, that's a very nice way to get shields. Next turn lose one en enemy lose one attack for every offensive card in his hand. Alright, I'm gonna go with this one. That's a way to get free points. Or free shields, right? We really need to repair. We really needed to repair. So if I go through the yellow zone... No, no, that's fine. Traversing the Solari conflict zone is strictly pro prohibited. A patrol ship moves to intercept. Okay. Um, I'm 
thinking here. Very nice artwork, huh? Kind of interesting. All right, so this guy's got shield pulse. And that will be depleted once he uses it. Shield pulse fall, all right. Boomerang, we can steal his his shield. We only get four points when we steal it. Okay. I technically could do this and this, right? And this. Or no. Wait, no. With this able target for two attacks. Boomerang. I can wait on the boomerang. Disables their shields for two turns. I don't know. Let's find out what this does. It says two turns, but I think it only removed one, so we didn't get the full effect. Well, this card gets removed, right? And then returns the two. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take the heat. So they're going to use their shield pulse. They have another shield pulse? Jesus. Alright, so the boomerang comes back. Don't we get that back? We do get four points, right? Uh, this will give us four points. I can do an ion shield. Oh, I don't. Oh, I need the. Oh, that was a waste. Well, that was a waste. Oh, well, a complete waste. Yeah, that was a complete waste. Definitely a complete waste. We destroyed four. Why didn't we get the two? I think that was a bug. Yeah, I think that was a bug. What is this minus two thing? Oh, it's disabled for two turns. I think it's. I think that's that's what it means. Disabled for two turns. Generator cooldown. What the hell is generator cooldown? Reset shield generator operation cycle. I don't know what that means. Okay, yeah, sure. What the hell is that? Oh, I guess I get all their depleted stuff. Maybe they get their depleted back. Probably what it means. Oh, come on. 
that's back online now for for generating. Three and four versus four and four. Nice. All right, so no attacks from them, which is good. They're just going to use their shields. We need to boomerang them. If shielded, gain shield points equal to... Oh, oh, I have to be shielded. I have to be shielded. Oh... Right? Let's find out. We're gonna destroy four, right? We don't get shields. Yep, we don't get the shields. Well, that stinks. This is going to take forever. Okay, they're... I think that's just giving them their depleted shields back over and over. They should, that should be removed. I don't know why that's not removed. Yeah, I don't know why that's weird. Okay, so boomerang does not help us. Not not that much though, right? Shit, come on. Shield generators. That doesn't really do a whole lot for us, damn it. Got to get rid of those shields. It's going to take a while for this rearm to actually work. I accidentally removed too many. Alright, so, yeah, they're gonna get shielded again. Uh, I don't need this. That's useless too, right? Oh, should've removed that too. Rearm, right. Restraint. All right, so they can't attack us. This, their shielding is annoying me. Ion, right? Oh, I should have done the left. 
Now we're getting attacked 5 to 12. Oh, this is bad, guys. I should have done the left. Yep, I should have done the left. Shit. Oh, we're so screwed. We are so screwed. Alright, that does something at least. We're okay. We're still alive. Does four damage. It's fine. Oh shit. Oh oh fuck. I need to do five points of damage. I should be able to do five points of damage now. There we go. Oh my god, we barely survived. Six points, sure. Leech defense. 50% of the tar enemy's next shield card is transferred to you, plus another 25% for each security. Lose all security. Interesting. Gain one for every attack. No, I, I guess I'm, I'm gonna go for more drills, I guess. Yeah, more drills. We need to be able to burn them down. I've got too many useless cards. Engineer, I was able to patch up our hull for a little while with some salvage we took off of that ship. Four points repaired. Oh my goodness. Repair station, right? We need to get to the repair station. You come across an abandoned repair station. Large part of it has been stripped, uh, cleaned by scavengers, but closer inspection, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Doc can attempt to do some repairs. It might not look like it, but some of the equipments he left is actually good in working condition, yes. 12 points. Oh my god, it's not a whole lot. Our fuel is also going to run out. We got to get out of the neutral zone. And we got nothing to repair. Traversing Solari conflict zone strictly prohibited a patrol ship. Moves into intercept startled. The crew rushed to their position. Prepare for combat. Start with two card slots disabled. Oh shit. Oh, that's bad. Very bad situation. For one turn. Spread shot. Optimization. All right, good. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's not useful. What do I have in my discard? Two and three versus two and three ions. Hmm. All right, end turn, right? Oh, shit. Uh, no, right, they have no shields. Useless. 
Useless. Okay. All right. The, the heavy barrage has been delayed. So they've got 30 and a 10. Four and four, right? Four and four. And they're going to spread shot us. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Three and two. Energy surge, no, right? Remove this. Boomerang does not do anything for us, right? Oh, I guess I could delay something there. Ionize them, yeah. Minus two. Spread shot needs to be removed. Equipment destroyed with railguns attack takes one longer turn to repair. turn they're gonna uh, spread shot us aren't they shit damn it slow burn what is the flak reload all right I'm gonna do that one Okay, one more turn. Oh god, black reloads. Let's see here, hack? Left, nice. Drill round. Oh my god, we're gonna get another two points. It turned. They're gonna hit us for another two points. Maybe five. Oh no, five! Man, that's not good. Gonna take this guy out. All right, sling. I don't know if that did anything, but... Oh, it took out the spread shots a little bit, right? Doesn't do anything. Shatter. Two for three. Takes longer, right? Hmm. But I wouldn't be able to do the other one. An ion sphere. Disable target for two turns. This is not going to help me. Oh, I accidentally clicked on both of them. Drill. Easy. Jesus. We're still alive! Gain four. Depleted. Reduce the cooldown of cards in the discard pile. No, I don't want to gain heat. 
Yes, I do want more pinpoints. 3% of shields. No, I definitely want this one, right? I need to get rid of useless cards somehow. All right, we have a hundred credits, right? Oh wait, what? Did, what? Oh, I forgot what she said. She said something. I clicked. I accidentally clicked it off. I need to save up more for reactors. If I go in there, I don't think I'll be able to leave, right? Well, let's find out. We are approaching Free Roamer Space Station. Uh, awaiting orders, Captain. Dock with the station. Uh, what do you want to do? Enter the hangar? Can we buy more fuel? Hopefully we can get more fuel. Repair. Repair two for eight coins. What is this command unit? Oh, we don't have any money. Can I get out of the system? I don't know. We definitely want to repair. Because our haul is pretty bad. Jesus. Can I sell anything? Hmm. hmm. I could probably get rid of the radiator. This is kind of useless too, right? Utility hard points. I mean, the rearm, I can't really do anything. Can I sell this? That's useless. Sort of. Well, it's not that. Yeah, I'll leave it. The radiator, I don't know. I mean, I've used this a few times. Weapon coolant, right? The ion was pretty useful. What's maintenance bay do? Repair three hull points, remove two shreds. Oh, wow. Repair one hit point for every three shield points lost on an enemy's turn. Repair one hit point for every three shield points lost. Interesting. But it costs 150. We don't have that. We sell that. We can probably buy the 150, right? I have two of each resources at the start of combat. That's terrible. I can buy shields. But it's 200, I can't, right? The only thing I can buy is maybe the maintenance bay. Repair three hit points. Remove two shred charges. That's not bad. Repair one hit point for every three shield points lost during the enemy's turn. I don't have any shields. Swift overhaul is kind of useless. This is the only useful card. Uh... 
uh, repair one hit point for every three shield points lost on an enemy's turn. Sustain two hit points. Duration is three turns. Yeah, I have to have a shield to get that to work. So if I get rid of this, I'll have the money, right? Yeah. Maintenance, right. Oh, it goes into the utility bay. Oh. Oh. Well, now that, for some reason, says it's 150. Yeah, it says it's 150, but it only sells for 85. Yeah, for some reason it says sells for 150. Um. Yeah, well, this game is a demo though, right? It's not early access yet. It's not released, so I'm expecting lots of bugs, I guess. Like, I, I can only use one or the other, right? I mean, I guess I can use that to repair. And then reattach that later whenever I need to, right? That's all I got. Oh, you know what? I should I shouldn't have done that. I should have just used this to do the repairs. That's fine. Can I leave? There we go. Crew activities. What do you wish to do at the station? Select activity you want your crew to perform at the station. Head over to the station bar and unwind plus two morale for the next three nodes. Oh, okay, cool. Depart the station, right? All right, so they got shore leave. I can't go further, I can only Exit the thingy, right? And that is neutral station. Well, we probably want to go around this before entering the boss. I have no money, so why is that going to matter? I don't think I can enter that in, right? It requires fuel. Pretty sure I can't. We are approaching Solari Space Station, waiting for course dock with the station. Uh, the station manager rejects your docking request as it could compromise the security of the station. Uh, let me talk to him, Captain. We might not be able, we not, we might not be on the best terms with the Solari. But we do not pose any security threat. After a relative, uh, relatively brief conversation, the station manager approves your request to knock. Okay, cool. Um, enter the hangar. Yeah, we can't really do anything else. Yeah, see, now the bug goes away, right? But then it switches over to 150. <laughs> I don't have any money. None of this is going to matter. Yeah. 
<laughs> that kind of sucks, actually. I need to switch over to the crew value. Or the crew activities. Plus two morale for the next nodes. Oh, cool. I guess that's it, right? It just... I guess it extended it. No, it didn't stack. Oh, it does stack. It does stack, but it... Yeah, it does stack, but it doesn't show that there's three of them. Or two of them. Yeah, interesting, huh? It's fine, whatever. I can't go there, right? Because I don't have fuel. It says red means no fuel. I can't go back, right? I can only go forward. Unregistered ship present is contested. Space is approaching on attack vector. Prepare for combat. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Okay. Swift overhaul. Repair one point for three shield lost on enemy's turn. Sustain three heat. No, this is terrible. What does this do? Discard an enemy tactical card. Add a system disruption card to enemy's hand. Oh, shit. I need to get rid of that one. What, what's this do? Equipment destroyed by railgun attacks plus one turn to repair. Deal four, 50 bonus percent. I didn't get it, huh? She doesn't have any shields, so it doesn't matter. Shatter. Not gonna help, right? There you go. Alright, I'm gonna... Or disrupt that one. Oh shit! Didn't do, didn't work. Oh come on! It didn't work. Two and three. Two and three. Light torpedoes could could be useful. The boom boomerang is maybe. It's fine. End turn. He's gonna fade me, isn't he? Oh oh, the fade was disabled. Oh okay okay okay. Uh, eight ions if shielded. The tor torpedo is gonna hit us, right? Oh, this is gonna be really bad. Firewall's not useful. I should have gotten rid of that one. I can only do one of these. Which attack cards from my discard pile? Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna get smacked, aren't we? Or at least that one is not going to 
do anything bad to us, right? That's gonna be five. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. Incoming. Oh, Deb said they're gonna fix the uh, the money glitch thing. So it's it's in the next update that's coming out in 20 minutes. Turn the closest incoming missile into an outgoing firefly, right? Yeah, let's do that. So they're getting that missile back. Oh, Jesus Christ, these missiles are hitting us back to back. Okay, that slows down any more shit coming at us. All right, I need to reduce this and get more of those. And we're going to get hit with the missiles. Shit. I know, we're hit. Thank you for that. Okay. Ion damage, right? Heal three damage. That tor torpedo is going to be eight points. Oh my goodness. Very bad. Ah, oh, shit. We're going to get screwed. We're gonna have to do battle repairs. Firewall's not gonna help me. We are so screwed, guys. Oh my god, we are just... Oh my god, we're so screwed. We're gonna redirect one of these back to them. Okay, the 8 point is going back to them. That helps. And turn. Okay, that's good for us. Software malfunction. Play this card to remove it from your deck. Can't delete it, right? Oh, I can delete it. Deal three damage. Let's take this torpedo out. Two and three. Alright, we're gonna have to ion spear something, right? Okay, it's the best we can do. We need to get... We need to destroy them. Four points. All right, this little fade thing is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, shit. That's fine. I don't really care if they remove my tactical cards. All right, five points, right? Hang on. 
ion damage. Probably should just restrain them. It's fine. We should be able to take care of this now, right? Sheesh. Close! It took out a lot of our points, or help all points, right? 20 points. While not overheated, repair 25% of the damage taken on enemy's turn. On the enemy's turn. While not overheated, repair 25% of the damage taken on on the enemy's turn at the start of each turn. Upkeep is one. Duration is three. While not overheated, repair 25% of the damage taken on the enemy's turn. At the start of each turn. Oh, that's not terribly bad. The one with a shield is wasted. I can't do anything with the one with a shield card. I have to remove that. We're about to reach the boss fight, too. I don't know if we're going to survive this boss fight. We don't have a choice, do we? Heading for the sector exit, your sensors pick up a massive vessel inbound for an attack vector. It's a marauder. The sector is locked down. Any ships attempting to leave are marked for a termination. A buckle up. Looks like we'll have to fight our way out. Oh, shit. Hopefully this is easy. I'm kind of scared whenever they say boss fight. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. All right, Retribution, draw and play an improvised flat card every turn after receiving hull damage. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this up. I need let me take this off while not overheat repair 25% of damage taken on enemy's turn at the start of each turn okay yeah 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 I can't do anything else right oh shit He's upgraded, right? Draw and play an improvised flat card every turn after receiving hull damage. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm being shredded, right? Jesus, this is not looking good. Starfire? Oh my god. This is not looking good. We're gonna probably die. Oh, we're going to probably die.
Duration is three. Oh my god. Ion sphere, right? We can't do any of this other than one or the other. On shield break. We're not gonna get shield breaks. Shit. This is the best choice, right? Oh my god, we're gonna take damage. Oh, we're not gonna survive this. We're not gonna. We're not gonna survive this. This is a boss fight. I don't think we're meant to pass this region. I think the Marauder unlocks when you reach the boss zone. It's not defeat the boss to get the Marauder. Oh my god, this is very, very bad. We're not going to survive this, are we? This is not good. I probably should have used her. To get that. That hack. Oh no. Oh no. We're not going to survive this. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way we're going to survive this. There's no way we're surviving this. Incoming six points, right? We we all we also have shredded damage too. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. We can probably... No, we're not going to survive this. I know... Yet. Yeah, I don't think we were meant to win. See? Thank you for playing the Breachway demo. Wishlist today, ahead of early access launch. Okay, so it is launching into Early Access on March 22nd. It's not the release. This is only a taste of what the full game will become. We are working hard on getting everything ready for Early Access, where you can expect new ships to discover and unlock, each with their own playstyle and challenges. New equipment, subsystems, and weapons to specialize your ship with unique cards and synergies. More regions with their own unique environments, events, enemies, and epic boss battles. Yeah, that battle was pretty epic. New crew members, each with their own abilities and roles. More environments. Fight in asteroid fields in the atmosphere of planets. Dense nebulas and ion storm, each with their own effects in, on combat. More side missions. Smuggling, bounty hunting, mercenary work, and even some good old-fashioned piracy. And much, much more. Yeah, I don't think we were meant to beat that. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, welcome to Breachway. Uh, thank you for trying out the demo. Any feedback? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Help us shape this game. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've been doing, right? I'm on their Discord to help them. Um, yeah, so this concludes the run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the stream. And uh, for this video coverage of the Breachway game. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out the demo for yourself, uh, drop by uh, their page. The link will be below in my description.
and also add uh, to your wish list. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will um, catch you next time.